Oh, I got a great story. Um, I was in his room the other uh, this weekend, and um, he told me to close his eyes and open the hand up. And I was like, "Please don't be a penis. Please don't be a penis." <laughs> and um, he dropped a penis on me, and I was like, "Damn!" He almost knocked me out with it. <laughs> oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my that was my selling tactic. They were going, "I don't know if I should get a fan toys uh, grenade." I'm like, "Close your eyes, open your hands." And everybody's like, "Please don't put your dick in my hand." And then I'm like, oh, it's his penis. Why is it so cold? Man? <laughs> oh. Hey, fuckers, it's Friday. I need you work. Good night, folks. Nailed it. You are listening to your favorite podcast, favorite podcast, Shelby Cast Uncut, with your host, Bobby Skullface. That's a solid unit, Mac. Oscar and Jake. I call it a rock friend. Robert D. So happy to be here. The engineer, T2RX6. It's a fit and finish. Everyone's favorite internet troll. Greg for mercy. Only troll for good. Meth Deluxe Bones. Hell has bro. And the most popular tattoo transformer fan ever does have to call. Hey ladies. No, it's just awful. Who's running that company? Kind of a scale like that. Upload complete, fuckers. This podcast is intended for mature audiences only, and its sole purpose is to entertain. If it doesn't fit with your sensitive sensibilities, please feel free to turn it off now and shut the fuck up, Chip. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Shattered Cast Uncut, episode 93. All of us are back from TFCon, and, and even Lenny is back from TFCon, for we carried him in our hearts. But we all had a pretty great time, and uh, episode 92.5 will be up as uh, as soon as we get to it. You know, we're just kind of getting settled and, and, and resorted. I think it's going to be pretty uh, miserable to watch because I have a feeling it's going to be very, very dark because uh, we did it uh, at, like, around 9 o'clock at night, and it was bad like light. Christopher, Christopher Nolan dark or, like, oh, bad no. light? No, 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 no bad not light. Not sense of humor dark. Ex- no, no, not sense of Not like oh, death to okay. smoochie. Um yeah. Like film noir, but I think it's gonna. Uh, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a rough ride. But but we're gonna we're gonna put it up regardless. I think the. the I think it's gonna actually end up being ironically the Lenny show because I think he's gonna be the only thing lit up, uh, in <laughs> in the whole in the whole video. But we shall see. Uh, but we are back and uh, you know we'll we'll talk about TFCon a good bit as we go forward. But let's talk about uh the guys on the cast. So we have. Uh, Greg from Mercy, uh, recovering from his stomach bug. How are you, Greg from Mercy? Um, I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, <laughs> uh, the bow did me wrong, man. I don't know what it was, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I, I put in a valiant fight Friday night. Actually, you know what? Just because he feels bad, I'm going to blame him. Fricor slipped me this fucking moonshine. Oh yes, and uh, but in three which minutes one? I held it down. We're glo- we're glorious. Which and one? Then, uh, the fruit punch. Um, he gave me a different one. Well, no, I was drinking that fruit punch like a fucking champ Friday night. The apple and then uh, I don't know. It was one of them. He's like, "Hey man," he was like, "Well, here, try try you one of these with his little red solo cup shot glasses, <laughs> looking like Kenny Chesney." And he's like, "Fruit punch concoction." Try you. Taste it. Yeah. Hundred percent like. Fruit yeah, well, and, and vomit and bile, but and, yeah. and freedom. And I freedom. couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't fuck with it. I took one sip and I was like, "There's no way out." I was like, "I'll, I'll go too hard." On this. Hey, Bobby, I let you. I, I'm gonna get on your nerves right now. Besides cutting you off, no. when when we were outside drinking out of those little red cups, me, Fear Corpse, and Ops, Oscar, um, my cup was empty and the wind blew it off the table, and I just let it roll away. Fucking lazy bum. <laughs> <laughs> And I looked at it. I was like, "Bobby was here." Yeah, I made, I made, I made, uh, I made Robert pick up a cigarette, but he fucking flicked. <laughs> oh, Robert, who was smoking? He nah, gave I was this, drinking. He gave this half-ass attempt at trying to get this cigarette button ashtray, and it was one of those ashtrays with like the circle in the side. You really got to go out of your way to put it in, and he just sort of flicked the cigarette butt like at the ashtray. Not really, into, and I was like, "You lazy motherfucker!" And then he came over and he's like, "I was doing it just to fuck with you." I was like, "Bullshit." And Robert, come on now. Uh, you see what I do with diapers, <laughs> dude, dude. Oh my dog! I had a my dog get into a diaper today. Fucking oh nightmare. <laughs> those little beads. What's going on with those things? Yeah, they're Maybe, absorbed. That can't be. There's something. Something's fishy there. I don't like it. Get it out of here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's they're government uh, spy devices. Yeah, yeah. No, You're just, spying on your little Satan. Yeah, like, little Satan like, baby. So that's where we'll all end up with some kind of weird cancer. Um, 
Next up, Matthew Deluxe Baldwin, who didn't spend nearly enough time on the floor for my liking. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for watching my video. And then we have uh, Radio Free Cybertron's pool buddy, hey. Robert D. <laughs> hey, fuckers. How y'all doing? Because <laughs> right yeah, you, you don't talk funny, Robert. Really? We're gonna. Uh, I actually, I have some, I have some, I have some, some good stuff to say about RFC today. Like, uh, we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, and then also we had uh, Justin and Adele. Who I will have the uh, the very uh, great pleasure of spending two weekends in a row with. How are you this evening, Mister T Two RX Six? I'm alive and hopefully with a better recording sound this time. What? Back to two computers. Shut the hell up, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't uh, uh he he wasn't he wasn't worried when Robert sounded like shit, but now that he's not happy with himself, he's gonna get that shit under control. Yeah, he's gonna get that shit. <laughs> well, well, the problem is, is that Robert just perpetually sounds like shit. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, yeah, 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 I've given up on caring. Justin has standards, all right. And then the one uh, missing link to everything this past weekend, Lenny Decepticon. <laughs> Lenny the missing link. <laughs> How are you, sir? <laughs> How are you all doing? I'm good. Thank you very much. Awesome. Is there Saturday too on a shark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, for as far as the GoFundMe, everybody should have their stuff now. If you do not have your stuff, get in contact. Sucks with to be us. you. <laughs> gotcha. Get in contact. Yeah. With <laughs> get in contact. Thanks for, for TFCon. Because mm. I have all the tracking numbers. I have a, a master file for the most part. And if I don't have the tracking number, I can access it. Like Everything went through my work computer. So, so uh, if yeah. something's not right, if you don't have what you ordered, um, we fucked up. Or something got fucked up somewhere along the line. So please contact us and let us know. But we're pretty sure we have all of our dots, our I's dotted and T's crossed, so to speak. Um, uh, turn of phrase already. Out the gate. But yeah. Uh, There's another just, one. As a, <laughs> <laughs> um, we also just as a as as a heads up, God damn it, there's um we still have shirts and I think we have one hoodie left and bumper stickers and sh- pint glasses has it. and uh, keychains still available. Um, we never had what what? We never had hoodies. No, we have one Rock Twenty Five hoodie left. Oh, 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 okay. I was going to say, because if there's a hoodie, then somebody didn't get theirs. Yeah. And no, I'm going to be a sad. No, no, no. We have one Rock 25 hoodie left. Uh, so I think we have one t shirt left. Like, we're, we're, we almost sold out of them, which would be nice. It'd be you know, a little achievement. Um, and, you know, not for nothing, like, uh, I, I'm just going to take my time tonight. You know what I mean? We, uh, Justin and I, like, you know, got to talk and we were all there Friday night, which, which maybe might have been my, my my favorite part of the whole con but uh man it might have been because everybody was in good health if you know what i'm saying uh and present robert but we were sitting out there and, I, massage. and justin and i were talking i was there friday night i know that's what i'm saying that's why it might have been my favorite um for one one hour massage and i can't live it down god for uh, so I, I was saying to justin and i was like man like it's just like you know it's it just that shit feels so good to have you know like you know, it was only like a, less than two years ago that we started, and and now like we you know we had enough people that to, to help fund like all these different pieces of merchandise and wanted to have you know own a piece and all like it's it's pretty mind blowing, um and, and we're very grateful and uh, we, you know we'll keep we'll continue on, uh keep it on, but. Anybody get anything? Let's start. Uh, since it's, I, th- I have a personal feeling deep inside my soul that this is Greg for Mercy's favorite portion. Greg, you go first. Um, I didn't get anything this week, actually. Not a thing? Not a damn thing. Hmm. Not a damn convention happened at all. Wow. Uh, all right, what did I get? <laughs> <clears throat> stretch, uh, stretch my back here. Uh, Matt outdid me because he got just as much as I did. All mine were pickups. I'm not even going to drop any of my pickups. And say they were mine. Um, I got, I got scraper. I got, uh, I got that voodoo black iron hide and dropped it within uh, twenty hours. Um, I got Masterpiece Star Saber. I got the KFC hand for Star Saber. 
I got the three pack bad cube bugs um if you're gonna get the bad cube bugs get those over the individuals the, the difference isn't worth it by the way i have an extra bombshell for sale uh of the collector's edition if anyone needs one um right. fuck what else did i get I, I never can remember everything i got um i got that dino uh dino king shell the fans project piggy bank i think fucking awesome um, you could probably kill an infant, not much more than that, but it's a, if you're going to beat an infant, then that's the way to go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else did I get? I got some other shit too. I, I got, came home to some rapper labels. I had the ones for Troll, uh, the ones for, uh, Capola and the ones for KFC Steeljaw. I got, uh, Double Deck. I got KFC Double Deck. It's much improved over Transistor. The tapes are pretty good. Uh, it's solid colored plastic with paint, not, uh, not completely painted uh, with nail polish, so that was pretty good. Um, I know I forgot something. I know I forgot something. Um, fuck. I know I got something else, and I can't remember. I'll probably remember it halfway through and blurt it out. So. And, and you might have mentioned it in 92.5, too, to be fair. Did I? Did I we? Think we I, think, I think we did. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. Now I can't remember. I picked up so much shit. I just, you know, yo. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna save what I'm suspecting to be a big haul for last. Uh, Robert D, did you pick up anything at the con? I got uh, Scalpticus, and I got what the fuck is that? Synicus, the fucking oh, okay. scalp uh, scalp bait. Uh, uh, scalp bait. It's not funny. Got- Nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> That's why you yeah, never you learned. motherfucker. It ain't funny, <laughs> goddamn it. <laughs> so what else did I get? And I, and I got the uh, I got the voodoo potion. Um, I, I don't hate them as much as everybody seems to. And uh, I got um, UT sound mixer. And I got Hegemon. And I got the iGear nice. uh, MP Acid Storm. No, uh, Sunstorm, which I quickly flipped to Oscar because I know he loves them. And uh, it was a pretty good deal. And um, I, th- and, oh yeah, and I also got just because my daughter it was like a bribe to her to get her to like stop complaining while we were walking around the dealer room was uh, Aries uh, Rampage. I was just like, no, not that, anything but that. But she really wanted it, so I got it for her. And I no, think, I think And before we move on, I uh, just want to give a shout out in real time to Paul B. Uh, he wasn't. Like a, uh, he, he wasn't a shard, but he is becoming one. And he linked up with us fr- Friday night and just was, uh, he was, uh, he's with uh, PCF. And um, just just thought we were just too cool of a bunch of guys not to chill with. So we let him into the circle of trust and, and Paul hung, hung out with us for most of the weekend and uh, hey, him and his me. wife. And they, yeah, they were cool people. Um, so I, t- I just told him he was getting a shout out in real time. And there that is Mr. T2RX6. Would you pull in? <laughs> well, pre the con, I picked up uh, for whatever reason a Hero Masters Rodimus. Uh, what? Yeah, yes. I, know. I saw I saw it at a at a, like a five below, and I was like, eh, why not? So uh, I picked that up. Then I got uh, that Transformers. Uh, what do they call it? The Japanese line that has those animated repaints and stuff. <laughs> anyway, I got the lockdown, the <laughs> animated lockdown in the movie oh, Legends from Oscar. Yeah, it, yeah, the Legends, I think, is what it was called. And then I got uh, Leonidas from Oscar and fixed it in, like, two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what else did I get? Um, at the con, I actually picked up uh, Evil Lord, who's missing his sword, so that sucks. And yeah, that, was, uh, that, was, uh, that was, like, a special offer. Like, that didn't come with everyone. Okay, I wasn't really sure about that or not. I couldn't get a clear answer from anyone. Uh, I picked up War Dog, who the first time you transform you're like this is just a mess of limbs and things are all over the place and it's gonna break. And uh, it turned out okay. I, I I really like that figure actually. And then I picked up uh, for a friend the uh, Optimus Prime version of uh, uh, Skull Cruncher. So that's it. I think can't think of anything no. else. Was that your friend eBay? No, 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 no. <laughs> going for a lot on eBay? I should have got two. Because if not, yeah, it was, people were flipping it for like $200 plus 
like that. Yeah, I was wor- I was wondering if that was gonna happen, but you know, I bought it for the friend of mine who's hooked me up with the GI Joe Club stuff. So, uh, yeah. Get, okay. Can I derail just real quick? Hold Absolutely. on. No. Absolutely. Bobby, you derailed that panel like fifteen times. You were about to give that dude from fucking uh, Sabertron a fucking heart attack. <laughs> um, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> that Paul B. You were referring to is that a little? Is that a little Paul B.? Yeah. Like a little, oh, dude, that guy's fucking awesome. Yeah. I was so happy to meet him. Yeah, I've done a couple of dealings with him. Yeah, he was And, good. uh, yeah, he's a good guy. I gave him a little hug. Not because he's a little guy, just because I gave him a little hug. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think, I think, I, I think I, I did derail that bit. Uh, but I think, uh, you know what I mean? Like, we, we got to talk about podcasting and stuff. Like, I talked to, we talked to Ross Springer, and Doc Hatch, but hey. afterwards. Not for nothing, you got the ball rolling. And, you, uh, know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Is that the only turn of phrase you had on lock, or? Uh, but, well, <laughs> it kind of, I was kind of a flow. Right, right, and, right. Uh, uh, on lock, I like that. That's the turn of phrase. That's true. God damn it. <clears throat> uh, Decepticon, what do you got? Uh, I got two things this week. I got uh, the Generation Toy Scrapper. Scraper. Um, scrapper. It's a solid figure. Yeah. I really like it. Sicker. Yeah. I, th- I think it's a, definitely an improvement on... Um, what we're seeing from Warbitron, so if it's the sister company everyone's saying it is, then they're stepping it up, which is nice. And uh, I got a shout out to Mike uh, Swage. I got the Shadow Emissary uh, Hexatron for a pretty good deal, so happy okay. with that. Thanks, uh, buddy. I'll tell you, um, Swage, uh, like I, I've always liked Swage, um, but Swage did some stand up shit uh, one night. Uh, one night when it was Saturday night. No, I guess it was Sunday evening. I don't know. Greg was feeling ill, and he wasn't. Um, he wasn't around, and and she came down and had dinner with uh, Laura and I, and you know it was, it was good. It was it was really good because I I've never met uh, Kit before, so it was, it was really nice to have that opportunity to get to know her a little bit. And um, anyway, it's like it's it's not for nothing. Sure, sure that's all. Well, that's fine, but it was—it was one. It was not, not to sound not to sound corny or anything, but it was—it was one of the highlights because you know, like we talk like we're family, and but we, and we do kind of feel like like at least cousins, if not brothers, and you know, like to not, and to not well, some of us, and to not know each other's wives and stuff like when we get that opportunity. I, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. So, Swage was down there, and then Brave came by and asked if I if I could take a part in this video that he's putting together, and I said absolutely because he did a he did a solid for me. So I. I I went up in, to do this interview with with Brave, and it took longer than I expected. Like it was, it, it was long. It was a good interview though. Like we went some dark places. I wasn't, I wasn't totally prepared for everything he was going to ask me, but uh, it was good. But like I was like, shit. Like I, 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 I could feel my phone buzzing in my pocket. I knew it was my wife. So I was like, you know, when it wrapped up, I went back downstairs, and and Swage was Swage was still sitting there. Like he had stopped by, and then he was still sitting there, and then he was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to go now. I just didn't feel comfortable. Um, leaving you and Greg's ladies here without, you know, a guy around. Aww. Yeah, no, that was a real stand up move. Like and it was it was a long interview. So like uh you know, like any any time I can ever uh help Swage out, like he always gotta do is call me. No, he's good how, people. How he's, was he's uh relatively yeah. to me, so yeah. we know how, how was that hug mat that I sent by uh, Swage? Well, for? I was gonna say something about that, so hush. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Lenny. All right, I'll, let me you see what yours. I got. I got. Um, <laughs> uh, I picked up a couple things for other people, and then I, I. Only thing I got was I got that uh, that Cyclonus to go with the Make Toys upgrade set. Ooh. Um, and Yay. shout out to Fear, Fear Corps. You know, for just from listening to the show, he knew I knew I wanted to get one, so he found one for me, complete for nineteen bucks. And I, I gave him, I gave him a twenty, and I like I was working the table, and like I turned back around, and there was a toy and a one dollar bill sitting on my chair, like you know he was like a ninja. Um, but that was that was that was awful. And a shot of moonshine. No, 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 none of that. And then uh, I got. Uh, what else did I get? I got a oh, I got I got a drawing. Like this guy did a drawing of Skullface and like and like came by and dropped it off to me. Like he did it himself and uh, it was I don't know whatever. It was it was it was it, it is my prized possession. From did he draw you like the French girls? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, hey, I, hey, I'm gonna tell you what, I ain't looking too bad in it. If you know what All I'm right. saying, it looks like it looks like I lost like 15 pounds. All right. Um, yeah, it was good. Um, so shout out to John. He, he came by and, and dropped that off. Um, 
So let's 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 have it. Oh, is it my yeah. turn? Oh, let's have God. it. Man. I didn't know I got so much shit, man. Shit. Right. Uh, um, shout out to uh, Fear Quartz also. He was trying to look for a Utopia for me, and nobody had one. I was kind of upset, but it's okay. I made up for it. Um, I got Capolia. I got Machine War Sandstorm. Almost finished with that line. Uh, I got Generations Jetfire, uh, the uh, Takar one. I got the uh, Juggalo Sisters, uh, the SCCC uh, girls, whatever. Um, I got Scrapper. I got uh, the Bombshell, the Silver Chest one. Uh, I got Carrie. I got uh, Optimal Primal uh, from the RD line. He was in Beast Machines. I got a real good deal on him. I got two uh, Beast War guys. I got um, Buzzsaw and... Um, I forgot the other one's name, but he's a little... I like the little wear of Beast War things. Um, I got um, the Saliva, Salivia, whatever. I just got the hammer. I threw away the uh, um, girl already because I'm, you know, I'm loaded. And I uh, got Overlord. I got Axel. And I got uh, Crocs. And I got some mass stuff from uh, uh, Pinkerton. Thank you very much. And I got two pretenders, Bumblebee and uh, Cotillia. And I got the Botcon, the Black Skids. I forgot his name, too, but, you know, who really cares? And um, my last and best thing I got was a hug from Sway66 from Lenny. And that was my favorite thing I got all, all uh, weekend. Oh, you're so, missing something. You're missing something. Oh, and I thanks a shout-out to big old Robert D. for finding me a star screen, which I did not see a lot of star screen stuff, and I was really disappointed. I picked up an iCure MP Seeker uh, star screen for a really, really good price. And uh, that's probably one of my prized possessions now. So uh, thanks, Robert, for looking finding that for me. You haven't flipped it on eBay yet? No, he's he's gonna stay in my collection. No, nice. he's part of history. That's what Robert said. So I gotta keep him. But I, I no, I never sell Starscream. But I didn't see a lot of stuff there on Starscream at all. So hey, kind of. Hey. You know what? Let's uh, let's send a question out to the Walking Encyclopedia Triple R. Is it true what I heard? I think it was Adam Tucker who said because uh, it was my understanding that. Um, iGear re-engineered the original Takara Seeker legs. And that's what you get with that iGear MP Seeker mold. And then Takara went ahead and said, hey, thanks for the idea, and came out with a new mold uh, that we have now. I think it was I can, I can half-ass answer that. But said, no, what, Takara what, had uh, those plans. Takara already had those plans, but they didn't use them. Something like that. Yeah. We'll let, we'll let Retro... The uh, uh, the a the yeah. actual answer to that we don't need triple R for this uh, oh. is no yes, the sir. Uh, Hasbro or Takara mm. did do those those like modifications and they ended up getting scrapped. The person who designed those uh, those uh, seekers it's the same person who did the uh, well sadly the same person who did Ollie and uh, oh, the wow. uh, X Trans bots. Uh, uh, Stacks and whatever the hover name is, crank. I don't know, but uh, same person who did all them. Like he's, you can actually, if you, I'm not gonna throw his name out there, but uh, if you look hard enough in the forums, you'll actually find as customs the eye gear seekers before they were ever released um, with the same mechanisms. So he's actually the one who designed the way those feet work and the way the uh, the uh, pieces went. And it just so happens that it's kind of similar to. You know what what the the Hasbro Takara one is, but yeah, it wasn't stolen from them in that regard. So. Wow, the, uh, that's that's that's. A, that's oh, a I got to see everybody. I got to see everybody on the panel except for Lenny too. That was a, that was one of my best takeaways to or things I got was friendship. Aww. 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 Lenny, you get um, some friendship next year. Um, also, I've I got some a... long distance friendship for you, Matt. <laughs> Damn, I gotta give big. a um... sorry. I got to give a shout out to Jay Ruse. Um, yes, is, the whole world. awesome dude, but uh, but he he gave me like a a, a little container of a uh, vape fluid, but like I, <laughs> like which was which was which was cool. It was, it was like a flavor he wanted me to try. So, but I got it home when I was gonna try, it and I looked at it, and his milligrams are like like his milligram of nicotine is so low. And he just doesn't know how I roll, Mac. Like uh, he, his was like 1.5, and I, I rolled 12. <laughs> so I was like, I can't mess with this. I could probably drink this. Um, and thus, the plot to get Bobby to smoke some pee was ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So uh, anyway, it was still a nice, it was still a nice thought. But you know, nice AJ Rose, uh, pink lung is a wasted lung, Mac. 
Um, so we're not going to talk about conventions because we're going to talk about it a good bit later on. But uh, we are going to talk about some third-party news because, of course, it was TFCon, so we had a, a panel. So you would think we had a ton of news, but we really, really don't from the panel. Um, there is one piece of news on the third-party <clears throat> news that I saw on the panel. Right. <laughs> Toy World I, I must have blinked. God. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you were fucking talking the whole time. It's, it's amazing you saw a fucking thing. Oh, talking. Me and Matt were watching the fucking video screen. There, I was looking at you. There, we're trying to wake video you up. footage of it. You're talking the entire time, Robert. The entire. The only time you weren't talking is when you mouthed that little whisper message to me, which is, which is, which is funny. And I'm not gonna repeat. But that's the only time it was silent. I wasn't mouthing anything. I was fucking dry gagging, and I can't say why. <laughs> Toy World Constructicon bot mode prototypes. Bigger ain't always better. And you know, all right. So let's talk about them. Go, go. What, what do you guys think? I, I'm a mixed bag on these things, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Those legs on long haul, the concave shins. I tell you, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. Let's start with let's start with the first picture. Let's start with Hook with the foreshortened uh, bit of business going on there. Hook. So this one looks like someone took like like a quarter of Hook. <laughs> took it out <laughs> and then just squished it together. Like, Good squished him up a bit. Yeah, it does yeah. look a little, a little smushed on the unit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if it was longer, I think it actually looked fairly perfect for like a a G one <laughs> toy representation. Whoa. You know? Yeah, it's long, don't you? <laughs> you I do it like it longer. Yeah, you know. If you said if it was longer, it looked perfect. <laughs> yeah, how long it is? I mean, I mean the truck. Let's not. Yeah, go yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Baby holding a, a fucking apple. Um. So yeah, yeah, I agree. It looks like somebody smushed this little this little unit. Is this but, what size scale are these things supposed to be? MP. Mm. Um, That's a big fail there to me. Yeah. So next up is the hook bot mode um, tripod, uh, as I like to call them. I'm not sure. He's what not going to fall over. <laughs> He's not going to fall over. He wears his sunglasses at night. <laughs> Yeah, which I'm I'm okay with, but like, what's going on with them with them shoulders though? With why, the, why? the wheels on the back there? Yeah, like I feel like a lot of third party companies are kind of doing that sort of shit these days. I think it's it's just a kind of a hard thing to to do with hook because that has to be his shoulders there. Yeah, so, but why, not, why not split it up? Have half yeah. of it on the forearm. Yeah, that would be cool. I could see that. So like some kind of sliding mechanism on like the lower part. Yeah, cutting some. corners. Yeah, yeah, it does seem like a cut. Does seem like a corner cut to me. How, how, how about look, you, Matthew? Look, they look like you know. I mean, that's um, they look fine to me. I mean, that's yeah. You know, a lot of like a lot of transformers do that. You know, it's just a way to like Justin said. There's you know a lot of not a lot you can do, but you know splitting up would be pretty cool too. But did uh, I just went that way. Did Hook in the cartoon, he had, were the tires part of his shoulder? Or or how did they look? I can't. I, I don't think they were visible image. at all. I think they just oh, yeah, in they were. Way. No, one of, them, one of them was right under his shoulder, and the other one was actually like the elbow joint on the cartoon. Huh. So. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody don't else? Think, I don't think outside of the shoulders and like the tripod thing, he, I don't think he looks terrible. I mean, it's definitely very reminiscent of the cartoon looking at the pictures. I mean, you got the same chest and everything. His legs aren't looking very symmetrical, so that'll ruin it for you, Bobby. I know you'd be Yeah, he's got that little bit of business going on there on the front. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> a tough one to do, though. I mean,. I can forgive that. I don't know. For yeah. me personally. But uh it would be nice if the crane part could just pop off and go somewhere else if you and, and, and maybe it can. Yeah. Yeah, but then you get people bitching about it being a part form or something. Yeah, you know, I I can't stand people who do that. Like, who cares? Like I know. Oh, I don't. I don't care. I yeah. in a box, but some people will be like, Well it's not supposed to Yeah. Oh yeah it is. Put yeah. the beef turkey down, you'll be all right. Um <laughs> got next bone crusher? Greg, well, I wanted to, I, wanted, oh, I really wanted to get thoughts on this because it was it was Greg and I that were kind of the most into this set. Yep. Are y'all still into it? Um, we'll wait and see. 
Man, after, after getting sense. scrapper, you know, you, you know, you kind of feel, you know, what they're gonna, what their direction is gonna be. I mean, these are just pitchers. I mean, it's gonna be hard to, you know, go off on, you know, I that. Made... But oh, I'm sorry, Matt. No, go on. I'm, done. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, are y'all in? I know y'all in with Generations toys, but are you also in for Toy World? Now, since you've actually got to touch and feel what Generations toys is gonna go towards, you know, now you just see pitchers. I know it's kind of hard to distinguish both of them, but you know, you do still get. Hey. Them. I got to touch and feel you, and I didn't give up on you. I know. So I would give I up. And I appreciate that too. I really do. You know? I, uh, you know, I uh, we'll wait and see. Um, there are a lot of things about Scraper I don't like. Um, having in the hand, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things about this set I don't like. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Well, well, we're getting we're getting so saturated with Devastators. Like, there, I mean, there's not really like who else could make one. Well, I mean, does, does it feel like does it feel getting, like they're making the, them right? I mean, is, is it going in the right direction? Well, if you would let me finish, oh, whoops. Well, where do you see Devastator in five years? Thirteen, <laughs> at least thirteen made. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting to the point where there's so many of them. I mean, you know, I know we we don't like to settle and blah blah blah, but it's getting to the point where like we're going to have to start making some decisions because how many more do you <laughs> honestly think are going to get made? And how many do we need? I mean, yeah. So I'm I'm still in for it as long as uh, I don't get sent out again. I'm still in for this hut. And, yeah, uh, I am. I am too. I am too. Will this be your last one though? If another could, let's say um, I don't even know shit. But anybody makes another one. Say a uh, toy world or not toy world, but fans toys. If they make one, would y'all get that? Yeah. Yep. Damn, that's a lot of fucking death stairs. Well, I mean, Greg will sell his. Tell kid about it. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't, don't be like. Oh, by the way, they're <laughs> <laughs> weird spending twelve hundred dollars on all the stators. <laughs> like, nope. It's like, well, it's not getting both. I'm like, now I can't. Nope. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> no, Thanks, guy. Thanks. Um. All right. Let's. The let's Hasbro. Uh, getting uh, some bone crusher. That that face. I mean, that yeah, top. That's... That thing top of his head. I don't. Is that a hat? I mean... <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> He's got some shit going on on top of his face, um, like in, in you know in. The, oh, he reminds me of the garbage pail kid with the head explosion. Yeah, yeah. That's him right there. I need to see some close ups of that head, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, I still think this is one of the more cartoon accurate looking ones yeah, that are out there. I I agree, but there's if if that head if that. If it's not the lighting, if that head is like a, if that thing is just sitting up there like a little like beanie hat. Yeah. Instead of like a, a helmet, you know, like that will be a bummer. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, the head is the weirdest part of this whole thing. Uh, but, I mean, like if you look at all the, the G1 cartoon stills of him, like he's got something weird going on on his head, just not quite that weird. You know, like it's close. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, oh, see, so here's a, here's a question, because this is how, like, if, when it comes to stuff like this, like, you know, obviously they, they're going to be... Nothing's going to be 100% accurate for the most part. You know what I mean? But, like, for me personally, like, if, if they nail one thing 100%, I'd rather it be the head. I uh, I posted the link into the chat there uh, that I'm looking at here for, for head sculpts and stuff. And you can see Bone Crusher's got something weird going on with his head now. Does he – this one, is it a faceplate or is it yeah. actual – Yeah, face? but see, the thing – you see you see how, like – uh. You see how the like all right, so the brim of it. Let's call it a hat, right? The, the sides of it come up more. Yeah, it's more. It, it's, and it, it goes straight up and down. It doesn't end in. Right. It's, exactly. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's the indentation that's driving me nuts. Yeah. No, I mean I understand it. I understand. You know what 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 you're seeing here, but it's not terribly far. But yeah, it is still not there yet. So, so would you rather they just like you know like you prefer like uh, Generation Toy where they just kind of go their own way, take it their own direction? Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I think that, I think that that's a really like subjective kind of a, a discussion. Like, I, I think that, I think there's certain like me personally, I'm gonna be okay with certain liberties as long as it's in the ballpark. I think what they're going for here is accuracy, so it's throwing me way off. Right. Um. Yeah. It is it is weird that they would go through all this to make them look very G one in both modes, 
and then be this far yeah. off from the head, you know? Yeah, yeah. Are those yeah, hands on bothering rest. anyone on this one? It looks like it's got individual ball jointed. It muscles, does. It which does. don't look good. But, th- but then the other, uh, it could just be because it's not finished yet, but the, the rest of the fingers don't have joints. So Right, yeah, weird. Yeah, that's a little womanly. The, I'm not sure that's a good move for Toy World on figures that big to have individual ball jointed fingers. No. You can see those right. things flying off. Um, let's just move on to uh, let's move on to long hauls robot mode. Whoa, what's up with them legs? <laughs> it's it's in now, like chicken legs. Or yeah, something. at first, at first this bothered me, but the more I look at it, the more I start to like this one. Because I feel like he's the one that everybody kind of struggles with. I actually think the TFC knocked him out of the park. Um, he's got a lot of upper but, chest too. Sorry. Yeah, but he doesn't look fat at all, and I'm no, okay no, with not like, the, not the like I'm okay with him being buff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of looks like he got rolled over by a steamroller. <laughs> yeah, he, looks okay. a little, he, he looks a little flat. I don't know. Yeah. It'd be, no. Maybe I if you could put some tires, maybe you know, maybe inward a little bit. It looks like you might can move them. I don't know the the way that they're attached to the shoulder. You make him move those uh, tires because it wouldn't be he wouldn't be so far stretched out like like he did. He he got flat. He looks like a pancake. I'm guessing that those joints for the tires are probably rotation, not uh oh, like in and out movement. To... Okay. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. If they could move those tires somewhere, maybe in the back or something, that might nah. He wouldn't look so. They won't. It it would have been nice if they did do it kind of like Matt was saying, like if they maybe cut out part of the shoulder and made, like integrated them. At least give you the option, you know. I mean, if you yeah, want it like but, that, that's fine. But he's you know he's spread out. He's a he's an eagle, you know. Yeah, he's making a T. Like if <laughs> if if his if his shoulders there yeah. were recessed enough to accommodate the tires, I think it'd look really good. Yeah, yeah. but the, the, face, good. I like the, the tires. Face, the tires don't bother me nearly like as much as like his like platform shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit weird. goldfish in there or something. Yeah. I mean, it looks All good. Right. I like his face and everything. It looks good. But... <laughs> I like his face. Face. Um, Give me your face. I love the Mixmaster truck mode. Just want to yeah. say that. Yeah, that was good. Uh, yeah, that looks really and, good. And, and bot mode is looking pretty good, too. I, I like the Decepticon kind of helmet going on there. <laughs> that face, though. Hey! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Y'all forget about me? I'm here. His head kind of looks a little bit too small compared to the other ones. Yeah, it's way it too small for that. That face, man, he just got him wide open like, I got a surprise what? on my butt. <laughs> I, I almost feel butt, Jesus. I almost Stop. feel like they made his head so small to accommodate the like uh, Decepticon logo helmet, you know? Yeah, the yeah. logo's cool. That's really cool, but his face expression is just classic. It almost you know, sounds it's like a Guido blowout. You know the blowout haircut? Like the Jersey Shore, like the Jersey Shore, yeah. Like this guy should be fist pump, fist pumping. But you know, look at the backs of his legs; they're fucking hollow. Look at that. Uh, how can you say that? What? Yeah, we don't know exactly how hollow that's going to be. Hollow. He looks good. I, li- I like the the torpedoes, whatever, on top of his head. That's pretty cool move. But the Decepticon head, that's pretty cool. It's I still. Know, I, I, it got lamb the chops. Look, the face once again doesn't look like Mixed Master to me. No, like I like the face, like, and I don't mean expression. I just mean sculpt. Like, yeah, no, I, don't, I, don't, I mean that too. He does. He's got yeah, lamb chops yeah. and shit going on, and mutton chops. Yeah, mutton it's just, chops. It's just, it's just, it's just an odd. Design. I don't know why everybody seems to screw the pooch with this guy. Uh-huh. Um, well, he won't be in bot mode anyway, so you know, whatever. Well, you know, it depends. And, and yeah, he's, got some, he's, got, he's got some nonsense going on on his back too. I don't know if it's on the back of his arms or on the back of it. I don't know where that is and how it sits, but. <laughs> <laughs> There's something going on there. Got a little it's, tumor. Uh, that'd be nice if it would just like compress in somehow behind all that crap. Yeah. If, if he's gonna have a backpack, like own it and make it look like a backpack, you know? Right. Yeah. Not just agreed. the bottom of a truck. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know why it seems like Mixmaster is the one that they always get wrong. Except for like, uh, I, I really like the Make Toys Mixmaster robot mode. Um, that was my favorite Make Toys robot. Do you really? Yes. Um, <laughs> let's see what else. I just got the next picture. Just a wee Dev- bit of kibble. Devastator. Yeah. 
<laughs> is he sucking his stomach in? I think so. He's like he's trying to do a crunch. He's like, oh, don't let him see it. Don't let him see it. Yeah. Oh. See, see, I, I got, I gotta say, I love it. He looks terrible. I, I love throwing his penis out, man. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm not, Look I'm not feeling that one at all. Check this out. <laughs> well, well, you know, like uh, you know that, like I think you know what they're trying to do there. I think I think that's a. Let me see here. Show off an ab I'll crunch. Just, I think they're trying to show a little bit of an ab crunch. They got a crotch thrust instead. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <crotch thrust. laughs> but like that's I think fine. that that's fine. There's this one drawing. There's this one drawing where his shit is pronounced. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh I remember that. You showed that. Yeah, and it's, it's an ox drawing, and I think that's what they're trying to do. Um, but like, I like this, I do, and I and I like the fact that you have the visor option as well. It's like what, what? I'm not convinced that uh, long haul actually makes up the legs. I don't yeah, know. I was gonna ask that next. Yeah, doesn't really look like it. it. Looks like he like sits into like a crotch piece and you know a leg piece. Yeah. I wonder if it comes from the lower bots. Maybe it's separate uh, pieces. Yeah, it could be completely separate, like they did with their throttle bots. Oh, I was pretty, would... yeah, I don't. I was just joking. I don't want that voodoo on the set. I don't want that oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. One's gonna but... come in a fucking TV box. The other four are gonna come in. TV box. <laughs> I bet you but it yeah. is that way. I think it is. I'm gonna guess. Oh, what are you saying? Horrible. What exactly are you saying? What? That that the thighs on Devastator might be a parts forming piece. Did, did you hear him get yeah. all fucking uppity? He he thought we were talking yeah, about throttle. No, he's yeah, like, what? He loves that throttle <laughs> bot combiner. He he just he's <laughs> not looking around. No 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 no. I mean this guy. I didn't. I just wanted to make what? sure you were saying that okay, you thought the thighs, the thighs were their own combiner parts. What are you talking about? Yeah, what, what are you? What are yeah, you talking about? Okay, so uh, they, look like they fold up that? on themselves. Yeah, it, I, I see what you're saying. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not willing to rule that out. But I can also see it being a parts forming piece. And are, are, and are we guessing like that the, the 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 forearms are all parts forming as well? Like it's not self contained or anything. Like uh, yeah. 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 If, this is toy world, in at, if this is Toy World, you're looking at some fucking parts for me. Yeah. All right. And then, then Debbie close up with eyes. Debbie well, before we before eyes before we go on, the, the long haul is still way too small for that waist. Like it it looks even worse. Like the cross thrusting uh, picture. I disagree. I disagree. Oh, it's just so bad. It just He's no. skinny. He's skinny in the cartoon. Like he's skinny as shit. Wait, which one? Devastator. No. Yeah, but don't you want a beefy Devastator? Yes. Devastator doesn't look like he's wearing like a corset in the in the cartoon though. Like I don't he's know. A beef, beef right, well, stick. which which episode are we talking about? It depends. Oh, like the one with Alpha Bravo. I like to go by the movie because I feel like it was like the best, the best drawn. Yeah. yeah. And in which oh, case he's a little thicker. Yes, the Michael Bay movie. <laughs> 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 Finally, y'all recognize. Where are his balls? Yeah. There'll be an add-on kit. <laughs> yeah. I hope there's yeah. an add-on kit for that. For this, God dang, that'd be awesome. Balls and everything. I'm sorry, Justin. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna cut you. No, that's all I had. I just think that he. I don't know. I think long haul should be wider to fill out the crotch a little better. So. What? Are you um, he said wider. The uh, I'll tell you, like when you see the close-up of Debbie's face and all that, there's a lot of line work going on with this fella. A lot of years. Yeah. There's a lot of head work going on with this too. Like <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that's the design. That's you know, that's like he's, it's accurate huh? to the design. Huh? I don't know. See, that's that it's is decided. my that is my preferred Devastator head. Like I prefer that look of Devastator. Like I always thought his head was too skinny in the G1 cartoon. But his head's still skinny. He just has giant radar flaps on the sides of his head. Yeah. He, he looks well, like uh, Blitzwing with giant elephant ears. You know what I'm saying? That's rude. Got him. I wouldn't have minded seeing the face pushed out a little more and the overall width about the same. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I like it. I, I mean, I'd like to say I don't because it would make my, my wallet feel a little bit better, but I, I like it. Wow, so you're getting this and uh, Generation Toy? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. Son. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mo yes, son. 
<laughs> do you even hey, devastate her, bro? Don't, don't ever do that playing, again. Man. Don't ever try to do that again, please. That hurt me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, Gregus. It's like you. It's like a fucking omni dub of lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you, man. I think that that's an American skill. The the word motherfucker. Like, I think that we're the only ones that can. Like, I think that we're the only ones that can say it right. Because because it does it does come off a little too like almost beautiful the way that Lenny said it, motherfucker. All right, like well, I'll, yes, I'll mother, stick with mother, content, mother. and you guys can have motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> There's hey, a guy. Um, Wait, was a quick. Did yeah. you see the three quarter shot of the Devi there with the, just the eyes, no visor? Look at that behind the chest plate. He's fucking hollow. No, no. Uh, there, there's two. There's two openings. I, I'm not sure if I'd go so far as to say hollow. We'll see. It's just the the connection points between Hook and what's yeah. his face. It's it's always kind of like that on any one of them. Devastator apologists. <laughs> Hey, I'm not. I don't <laughs> like this thing. I'm just, I'm just pointing it out. That's all. Um, Lenny, there's this bit that Jim Jeffries does on uh, on the word cunt, where he was like, uh, where he was like, he was like, Americans get all bent out of shape about it, and he's like, it's fine, and then he's like, going to this bit, and he's like, you guys say words way worse, like motherfucker. Ugh. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, scrapper. Scr- you know, like. I don't know that. Like, I think you know, Generation Toy has the same issue. Like, you know, like, yep, that, that fucking bucket, man. Like, god damn. <laughs> Jesus. Bucket, I think he's probably the best one out of. Oh, the the bucket doesn't bother me. Well, even on the Generation's Toy, the bucket doesn't bother me. It's just the. I think this one does a better job of looking like the G one than the Generation Toy one does. <sighs> That's my complaint with Generation Toy is. Uh, you know all that shit. You know all the shit the scrappers got going on with them with the chest, and you know, yeah. Well, you ain't got none of that shit. Yeah, but see, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't like all that shit though. Like, I don't know. I mean, I like it, but at the same time, like when I hold like the, the I don't the, like wheelie, but fucking, not, I mean, it's a part. I mean, it's there, you know. No, no, no. I mean, like when when I hold the the the, the combiner war scrapper that has all that shit going on in his chest. I'm like, you mean the bus scrapper that's out so far? A, a, yeah, I meant to say AKA. Pardon me. Um, it doesn't feel appropriate. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, like, I, I understand it's like a, a character trait and all that. And, you know, it's like, we're at, we're taking the Batman symbol off, but, um, it's just like, yeah, like it just doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. I like, I don't know. I, I'm okay. I'm okay with those sorts of liberties. Like those, those sorts of like modernized looks like I'm, I'm good with, but like, my thing, like Scrapper right now, and, and like we say, like he's going to be combined probably and, you know, whatever. But like Scrapper right now is taking up a fucking lot of real estate on my shelf from, you know, with just that fucking bucket. Yeah, well, <laughs> Toy World one, I mean, this was my, uh, this was my robot set. Like if I got both of them, this would be my robot set. Yeah. So I have a, a, a more vested interest uh, in this set than I do. You know, they've come out looking like the G1 toys uh, or right. the G1 models rather. Right, that's what pissed me off. That's another thing that pissed me off. But the Hasbro set, man, they fucking look good. Like right. they had yeah. all that. They as far as design and as far as like uh, aesthetic. I mean, they I didn't do. even mind long haul. They do. I didn't even mind long haul, but it's the <laughs> execution. It's the execution, Matt. That's where, where they get you. This guy looks like he's got a boo boo on his chest, and mommy put big band aids on him. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what you're talking about. No, that was just um, left field. Don't make Matt mad. But I do. I, I the, the alt mode looks okay. There's like things I like and things I don't like. That but... is a big bucket. Yeah. <laughs> even in alt mode, that's a. Big I don't like the. Bucket. I don't like the front. The like from Baby the cab bucket. to the front. The back looks fine. I don't know. It looks Wait, like you put I, the balls on his top. What's that? They pop right out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, they look good together. All right, let's go. Well, what, what, what do you think looks better, this this uh, scrapper alt mode or the generation toys? I like the generation toys alt mode better. I, I agree. I agree. Actually, funny enough, um, the alt mode I don't care that much about because the G one alt modes were like they were shapes of color. Yeah. They weren't even shapes at the time. 
<laughs> they were color with like vague outlines. Yeah, but I, <laughs> it found, like I found like a. <laughs> it was a five year old's coloring book. Yeah, but didn't you find? I mean, I found the Constructicons, the alt modes, actually fun to play with. Yeah, as a kid. Yeah, I did. But I did. Cool. I did. Yeah. I did have some sets. This set was one of them, and I think it was because of all that shit they did in that first episode where they were introduced. I don't know. They were great in the sand, man. Just playing around in the sand. I Dude, that. you need to get in the sandbox for your next. <laughs> I'm telling you. Sandstorm bit review. <laughs> Dude, how great would that be? Like one of them old school turtle ones. Uh, <laughs> idea. <No>. Door. <laughs> that would be good. All right, all right. I was saying, all right, let's move on. Life size transformers. MMC has just up the game and left the kids asking, "What's a cassette?" Why? I mean, it looks it looks all right, but why? Yeah, I'm with do, you. Do we need a big ass ravage like that? We do. Was that MMC? That was MMC. I thought it was Make Toys. Nope. I, it, it was. was uh, it was on. It was on the. Oh, it was on the Ages Three and Up table. Is what it was. Greg. Yeah. Greg fucking dropped him. I remember that. <laughs> no, I did not drop him. I picked him up. <laughs> I pulled a Bobby. I picked it up, and I was like, "Can I pick it up?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Watch out for that!" Oh, you dropped a piece. <laughs> He's like, uh, "No, don't step on it. Don't move." And you're like, "Oh, I didn't fucking do it. What?" He didn't have an accent at all. It was Henry Pake and a white guy. Yeah, that's racist, Robert. <laughs> Henry <laughs> Pake and a white guy. Also, by the way, I got to meet I got to meet Henry Pake finally from Pake for Life, the reviewer. Um, he's a fucking nice guy. Yeah, he's a They're super all nice guys nice. we met. Yeah, they all are, but yeah. Man, those Toy Dojo guys and the Ages 3 and Up guys were fucking... I bought some stuff from Toy Dojo. They're really nice. Uh, I really liked them. And good people, man. It's all Chosen about good Prime. people. Prime was really nice, too. They were... They... All about good but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't understand. I mean, I, he may can go with MP Hound if we ever get one, you know, but I, I don't know. I didn't, you know, It looks nice. I, I, you know, I filled it with it a little bit, but I just don't understand the concept of why... They're doing this, but, okay. It might just be to have like a cool, like just a thing, you know. Yeah, it have, could like, be a side, you know, it could be a little side thing. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, if he's reasonable priced, I might get him. You know, ninety dollars so much. Oof. This be your yeah. side girl. That's your Sam. I wish I had a side girl. Hello. Ooh. What? Blackmail. Well, here I'll tell you this. Like, I think that I don't think that this is uh, is necessary. Yes, now, if, if, it, they would, if they would have nailed, if they would have nailed the cat, you know, like where it was just on the money, <laughs> I would have, I would have been in on this. But like, I don't feel like they, they nailed the cat. You know, like, the, especially like the, the, like the back hips. He looks like a Hasbro. It doesn't look right. Hey, hey, wait a minute! Didn't this come with another set supposedly, and then it didn't? They saved it to release it on its own. Am I crazy? Yeah, you I don't know about that. It's, it's Studio Ox, so, so you're in on it anyway, Bobby. No, I, I can't. Well, here's the like, it, like I don't care about all that fucking, you know, like uh, the fucking whatever it is. The yeah, you do. God damn it, the fucking. Uh, uh, now I'm just saying f. Like, all right, the fucking stop. fucking. Because uh, because I'm upset. I don't I don't care that the tape doesn't go into sound waves to chest. Is what I'm trying to say. Don't care. Don't care at all. You almost said tits. And. And like no, I didn't. And and if and if this was, if if this was like a normal size cassette, and then it transformed to a Ravage that looked fucking on the money, G one, masterpiece level, I'd be all over it. But it doesn't. Yeah, right. it does. Yeah. Don't need it. Nobody needs this in their life. All right. I do. Anybody else got anything to say? Kit and I uh, were looking at it. Kit's a uh, Kit and I are huge tape fans. Are you? No. Uh, yeah, we actually have blank tapes waiting for the zombie apocalypse. All right. <laughs> Got buried in the yard and shit. Like, definitely, I'm definitely picking this up if it comes up. Like, you know, when it comes to fruition. Right. They're all yep, I'm going to put it in the sock and beat it. Like that. Holy shit, this guy looks fucking fat. Thunderwing oh. reformatted. That's a big yeah. boy. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? This, is, this, this was one of the big reveals of... of TF Con Charlotte. Was it? This is like, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. This is like Brainwave v Smart Robin all oh. over again. Oh, this is like, oh, I don't know. It looks like a Why submarine. The, which is more accurate to the character? Which release? The this other one, one, the, the other one. G 
Yeah, the other one is, yeah. I think to what they're going for. But this one's going to be made better, probably. This is this is going to be a tough call. Well, you say that, but you said that about the RC too, and the the, the Fembot mold, and uh, yeah, you don't you you're, you're just waiting to push that one out the door. Everybody's on that Feral Rex, fucking. Everybody's all into that Feral Rex. Like, oh yeah, MMC, yeah, you know, great, whatever. But you weren't crazy on fucking Senecas, and you weren't crazy on yep. the Fembot mold. And what else did they put out? Yeah. You know what I mean? You're right. only as good as your last it's win. Okay. It's okay. It's okay to say. We'll wait and see. You know, it's okay. It is okay to say that. Don't always say that's the thing with Transformers fans. It kind of pisses me off. Oh yes. Um, it doesn't piss it. me off. It doesn't piss me off, but it, it just makes me laugh. Like everyone's so ready to pick a fucking side, like from the get go. And like talking. you can't leave you that talking? side. If you leave yeah, that well, side. my my thing is more so to just talk about it for the sake of the show, because otherwise, if we just say we'll just wait and see for every fucking slide, it's going to be a pretty dull ass show. Let's try yeah, it. But- you don't want to be wrong, though, Bobby. Don't be wrong. No, I don't want to be wrong. But I, I, but you know, I, I'm not. I don't have a whole lot vested in this character anyway. So like, I'm I more than likely right. will wait and see. But you don't like the um, Decepticon? Like the wheel of the Matrix? Yeah, I mean yeah. it's fine. I just you know it's just you know on a scale from one to ten as far as like how bad I want one. Uh, three. Two. So you two. don't like Lenny. Uh, yeah, that's what you're saying. But to, uh, to be fair, we've probably got about three years before this actually has a release. So right, right. you've got you've time, got to, time to make your decision. Right. I don't Same. know. I, I'm a big MMC guy. I'm I'm happy that they're taking a stab at this character. You got time like to save his, your penny. He's, he's big in IDW, so you know that kind of fits every formatted line. Yep. Uh, I, I really like the uh, the little character that he has in his chest. Like they represent the. Uh, uh, whatever it was, Pretender Show. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is cool. And, like, is, is Glow in the Dark, is that their thing now? Are they going to be so. the Glow in the Dark company? I hope mm-hmm. so. Maybe the factory is just one of those, uh, near one of those factories that exploded and they're just glow in the dark. <laughs> that's the only thing they come out with. Oh, Roll everything, with will be, everything will be Glow in the Dark now. R- roll with it. Roll, roll. Um, all that right. that little uh, the the image where he's all up in the armored up mode and he's got the little dome over his face, mm-hmm. the little little box in the background. I love that head sculpt on that thing. Yeah, yeah. like that's about the best shot you get of it. It's just well, that's, the evil grin. Love that it. That is something that like I feel like they do do well across the board is is head sculpts. The yeah. dome. I heard they like, do. Like the 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 female bot head sculpts, the the Rex, uh, you know, even the Cynicus. And what they did with that head and gimmick wise and all that, like they do put a lot of TLC into that. I feel yeah. in character. Yeah. Don't go Those chasing, flaws don't go, are pretty. Don't cool. go chasing waterfalls. Yep. Don't go doing that. All uh, right. Color images of fans' toys, not shrapnel, Yay. nor is it shrapnel from TFCon. Sexy. Mm. All right, let's pull him up. He yeah, good. he looks good. If yeah, he's he good does. as if he's good as yeah. Grenader, man, these things, man, oof. Goodness. You can knock a you can knock a fucking human being out with these damn things, man. <laughs> human yeah. being, god damn. <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna have two sets of uh, I don't know what you call them, boards like the uh, chrome ones and silver ones, kind of like uh, Sore has the two sets of wings. Oh, oh. I would. I would go. I would go out on a limb to say no, only because uh, Bombshell doesn't have it for like his hat and all that shit, like his little gun. He or does he? He does. He has extra legs. No, but he doesn't have the extra chrome. Like, well, he don't have the extra chrome on the top. So of I would it. guess that they're trying. I, I would guess that maybe you might get extra legs, but I doubt mm. that we will get a chrome and non chrome. Oh, I got a great story. Um, I was in his room the other uh, this weekend, and um, he told me to close his eyes and open the hand up. And I was like, please don't be a penis. Please don't be a penis. <laughs> and um, he dropped a bombshell on me. And I was like, damn. He almost knocked me out with it. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was my That was my selling tactic. They were like, I don't know if I should get a fan toys uh, grenade. I'm like, close your eyes, open your hands. And everybody's like, please don't put your dick in my hand. <laughs> and I was like, please don't be a penis. And then I'm like, oh, it's his penis. Why is it so cold? And then it's, like, oh. it's those oh, circles. Like, it was heavy as a motherfucker, though. Know. But yeah, this looks. Yes. I'm all aboard. After getting uh, Grenader, yeah, I'm on board for all these three. 
Someone, uh, someone there handled him and said that he was heavier than a grenader. Dang. Wow. Yeah, the yeah, first fight was pretty fucking heavy. Yeah. Did you handle him? Uh, briefly, I was in a a passing, like a, a pass around, like a very quick pass around to get him back to Ryan. Um. God, these look good. Fuck. Oh. Um. Moving on to Hasbro official news. Hasbro the car. Fuck yeah. First up, Hasbro is broke, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Never. And let me read this. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> That's a, I like that. Uh, Hasbro held their 2015 Q3 earning conference call yesterday, and things are looking bad for the Transformer toy business. It's so bad that Hasbro had to make up for the loss with their with other brands. To sum things up, which was told yesterday to the press where TFW 2005 was had also attended, Hasbro confirmed the 10-year plan for the Transformers live-action movie franchise, which they casually let us know during the MIP Junior Conference 2015. Noticeable loss of profit for the Transformers toy line. A journalist stated that the retail shelf space allocated to the Transformers toy line is getting smaller and smaller. Transformers 5 detailed to be details to be officially revealed soon. You will find the exact statements told to several relevant pre- uh, presentation slides after the jump. Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner said, Over the first nine months of the year, franchise brands were 8% absent FX. What's that mean, Robert? Fucks. <laughs> okay. Transformers, <laughs> that's perfect. That's what I thought it was. Transformers was down given the difficult comparison and Littlest Pet Shop was flat, despite growth in the U.S. The other five franchise brands each reported growth in constant currency in the nine-month period. Play-Doh's creative <laughs> play. <laughs> Are you going to read this whole thing? <clears throat> yeah, I think so because – well, let me see. It's as long as well, – no, I think so. I think, I think this is worthwhile. I think this is interesting. Play-Doh's creative play continues to appeal to global customers. We celebrated the first ever World Play-Doh Day on September the 16th, and we are supporting new fall initiatives, including Crazy Cuts and Cupcake Celebration. The growth in these brands helped offset the decline in Transformers. Damn. Last year, the brand benefited from the Transformers Age of Extinction film. We continue to plan the future Transformers franchises in all forms of entertainment, including movies, television, and digital expressions. Transformers Robots in Disguise is airing on Cartoon Network in the U.S. and many international markets, and Transformers Rescue Bots is also airing on networks around the world. Last quarter, we spoke with you about the incredibly... What are you fucking doing right now? <laughs> last, quarter, last quarter, we spoke with you about the incredibly talented group of writers led by... We should all read it together at the same time. (laughs) Akiva Goldsman were charged with plotting out the next 10 years and beyond the theatrical storytelling around Transformers. While Paramount has yet to formally announce our next film, we are excited about the vast potential of the work which came out of the writer's room. Finally, revenues in the entertainment and licensing segment were down 2% versus 2014. The decline in revenue was primarily driven by lower Transformer revenues in the segment the year after the movie. All right. Journalist Eric Hanson. No. Journal- uh, yeah, journalist Eric Handler asked the following question from Mr. Goldner. In the, in the second, and then secondly with Transformers, tell me if I'm wrong, but it just seems from an observation standpoint, the shelf space for Transformers has been shrinking. We're seeing for U.S. fewer schools. I'm, cur- I'm just curious to think, get your opinion on how that products, on how that product's evolution will take place over the next couple of years and not at least in the non-movie years. To which the following Did you answer say in five years. <laughs> 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 to which the following answer was given. First, let's talk about Transformers. Year to date, Transformers is actually bucking the trend of a typical boys' action property the uh, the year following the movie. In fact, it's down by just over a third, which, as you know, is far better than one would expect in a non-movie year, and that's just because of the amount of entertainment. We're also seeing in our preschool Transformers growth year to date in preschool Transformers Transformers Rescue Bots product line and being supported again by our content. Our licensing year to date for Transformers is up. So I think maybe we need to take a broader perspective on the performance of Transformers and look more globally because it's performing quite well in a non-movie year. Certainly it's down in the quarter, but down more typical in the movie typical range. Okay, so it's doing better than it normally does after a movie. I would so like that, I would like Hasbro slash to card to take a look at third party and look at it close and realize when it comes to their franchise there is tons of growth i mean there's companies that pop up every two days it seems for for third party companies because they're not producing like just garbage you know like when you produce something decent 
people buy it, you know? And this yep. is the problem with your actual, like, R.A.D., it's shit. Like, it's all hollow. The So is Combiner Wars. It's all hollow stuff. Like, you know, I know <clears throat> Combiner Wars is G1, and that gets everybody going all, you know, crazy. But it still kind of sucks, relatively. You know, like, it's not what it used to be. Yeah. We just, they got to cut everything all the time. And then, you know, profits go down more, and everything shrinks because nobody's buying. I think uh, Titan Wars will help since, it, like, I, I told like the last show when I said some other stuff um, with new stuff coming out. I think that's going to really. It may not, you know, get them out of the hole, which they don't need to be because they have enough money, anyways. I think that you know, with new products, you know, new, you know, new stuff out there on the shelves will help the help it a lot uh, as far as the growing, you know, stuff. So I, I would know. just like to <clears throat> counterpoint real quick to Justin. Um, I actually want to say to Hasbro, pay no attention to that man and turn your eyes away from third party because uh, I'm happy being able to actually buy decent toys once in a while. Well, you know, it's oh funny. I, like, I was looking at that Cyclonus figure um, just because I never messed with him before and I transformed him today and like, I was just like, God damn, like, this feels so much better than like the Combiner War stuff. Like, it's just like, Old man. like the joints were still good. Even the ball joints we're still good. This is the 2007 like, classic, Sarah. Is that what uh, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> Battle looks like one. Yeah, so right. Oh, so and that's where it started like, going downhill. Even yeah, okay. And like, I was just like, damn, like, like you know, like, like the transformation was fluent and intuitive, and like, it was fun, you know, and like, I don't know, it was just, it was like, it, it felt like a product, like it didn't feel like you were holding like a 3D air, like you know what I mean, like. It was a uh, I don't know it was eye opening for me. I think I think Hasbro has taken us for granted, thinking that they could you know shell out this you know Combiner War shit and that we wouldn't notice it like we're dumb and uh, uh, we would notice you know hey you know you take stuff like you said from 2007 <laughs> and you see shit from now you know they thought they could slip one in and say hey you know here's the new stuff you know we got your G1 you wanted but we're not gonna make it as good as we used to make it. And you know what though? they were about eight percent right. Well, here, hold on, hold on, really quick. Um, I well, think Lenny, Lenny's been trying to say something for a while. Yeah, I've been trying to talk. Um, the, <laughs> I don't collect the movie line, but from what I've seen browsing through the stores, the the movie toys from Transformers Four were pretty crap compared to the previous movie lines, right? So maybe it's just that the movie line didn't do enough this time to keep the fans there. Maybe. You know what I mean? To to keep them like, oh, maybe I'll check out a Combiner Wars toy or, or or whatever came next. You know, the R.I.D. stuff. It maybe it's just because they were all in pieces before kids could decide to keep collecting Transformers. Well, yeah, because they were betting on the the Dinobots and they didn't come through. I mean, you know, in the movie, everybody's waiting for the Dinobots to be the you know the focal point almost of the movie, and they didn't say one thing except you know spit and growl at you know Optimus one time. And so it's just, you know, the Dinobots were a big fact. I liked them, but they were just a big letdown. And with the toys, you know, they just didn't, they didn't grasp, you know, they were trying for the kids because, you know, kids love dinosaurs, you know, and stuff. So they just didn't grasp the kid side. And then they didn't grasp the G1, you know, you know, great, you know, G1 great ones, whatever they call um, Because, you know, they weren't the Dinobots. They were just, yeah. Yeah, but, but sales sales were up that year, is what they were saying. They're saying compared to that year, sales are down. And I, what I'm gleaming, gleaning from this article is they are looking at the global market and they're seeing that hey, wait a minute, maybe licensing is the way to go because other people let them let them pay us and they can take the risk and we can make the money regardless. And that's scary to me. Like Justin was saying, I think Justin, what you were saying. Is 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 what kind of what they're trying to say there? Like they're 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 hinting at that's what they're looking at because I, I think you know it's not just oh our RID line sucks and the Combiner Wars figures suck. When you look at like a full display and uh, the whole shelf, that's just a fraction of the garbage on the shelves. That's the cream, the creme de la creme of their stuff. So they're reporting losses. It's because they're pumping money into fucking rows of shit. I mean, and, and the C-dub figures, they're supposed to be the best. 
you know, and, and if all they did was focus their money on the C-dub line and on the RID, then they wouldn't have such big losses because they wouldn't have been wasting money on hero mashers and shampoo bottles and one-step changers and three-step changers and this shit and that shit and the fucking sparking garbage. All that was losses. No one bought that stuff. Well, do you, you think know? they were expecting – I mean, I know, you know, with the movie lines, they were expecting the movie line toys to help – you know, regen- you know, did. generate money, money, and it they, didn't this time. And no, they they're did. Like, they're saying they made money, and they ma- they made money from the movie year. It's the, the toy the line year. Yeah. Said, okay. They're, yeah. They're, they're saying that they they. Well, they, that's they, well, I'm talking about worldwide. I mean, you know, globally. Uh, I think. Oh was, no! No, but they're saying it's been a failure if uh, the glo- if you know worldwide it didn't do. I mean, I'm just talking about the movie. No. Please. No, what they're saying is the movie year here domestically and abroad, they did well. It's the post movie year. We did they did poorly domestically, okay. but globally the brand is doing well. I wonder why. Well, yeah, because you know? I mean, like I said, if the movie it, it failed actually here. I mean, it didn't do as well as the other ones, but worldwide, that's, you know, that's it put it over a billion dollars. I mean, I don't, I don't think it only made two hundred and fifty million here. Well, I think they're looking at third party and saying, "Wow, there's a lot of companies sprouting up," just like Justin was saying. They're seeing there are people buying this stuff. We just have to maybe look at that and consider licensing, which would bother me because then they're going to influence them, like Greg said, and keep keep your evil off of my fucking third party. Well, you know, but you don't even need to go as far as third party. You can go as far as the other company you own. You know, like Takara. You have to have some kind of metrics on how many of the the Takara uh, products are getting shipped outside of Japan, right? Yeah. I mean, right. you should have some kind of hint of an idea of what the collectors, well, not even just collectors, what people in general in general want when it comes to these toys. Like, you know, they're willing to pay more to get these higher quality things, yeah. and it's almost impossible to keep them in stock when they finally hit a U.S. release, what, like two years later, you know? And people still want them, so I don't know. Like, why I can't think, you look there? I think Justin makes a good point. Like, why the fuck does there need to be one MP designer? Yeah, you know what I mean. And then he passes the hat. Like, you can't hire two of these motherfuckers. Why can't what? Well, why can't you even have like you know Hasbro makes designs and then they pass them over to to Takara who does something with them usually you know but like why can't you have a U.S. designer and a Japanese designer to be cranking out these things for? You know, like, it's not it's not a matter of the Japanese are better designers. It's probably, you know, the, uh, the whoever's working for the American design team just gets gimped on budget, you know? Well, either or, like, but, but I mean, like, yeah, I, I hear you. But, I mean, just, just in regards to capitalizing on big money fast, mm-hmm. yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't understand with the, with, the, with the seemingly successful masterpiece line. Like most masterpieces sell out and have to go to a second run or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why why aren't they – and I'm, I'm not saying that they're idiots. I'm saying they probably have a reason. I just want to know it. But why aren't they investing more into that? Because they're probably looking at the losses they took on Acid Storm and Sunstorm <laughs> instead yeah, of like should... looking at Soundwave. They're looking at the year of the goat sound wave. But that theoretically shouldn't have anything to do with the influence. I don't the think they have good horror. I don't think they have good business acumen. I think like Japan culturally does more with less. So, but they know where where the money's where it's. Sometimes you have to spend money to make money, and they know where to put it. And they make wanted figures. And I just don't know if the Has brothers know how to do that. If they're fucking idiots. I mean, I don't. I mean, so like, do, you, do y'all want them to license out to third party? Or well, see, now that's a, that's another good question, Matthew. Like, I was I was just gonna say, like, you know, let me, let me ask this: like, if they were to license out to, let's say, let's say, top three companies, uh, fans whatever, toys, yeah. fun pub, yeah, fans, fans. <laughs> let, let's just say, fans, toys, MMC, and and make toys. I just got really sad. I just got really sad. Warbatron. Because they'd affect them, and they would be gone. Well, see, that's what I was going to ask. Like, if, if they licensed out, like, we're now MMC's product, Fans Toys product, and, and, and Make Toys product, we're now in an official third-party licensed product. Um, how would, like, you know, I got to be honest. Like, somebody asked me this the other day. I, I always say that I want Hasbro to license out, but I, somehow I feel like it would make it less cool. I know that sounds fucking shallow, 
but like I do like this like like I do like the like the culture of this third party thing. This like you know the like kind feeling. of <laughs> no, not the no, no, no. But like, like the you know, like, like this, this like this like <laughs> fucking like grassroots like power to the people. You want it, we'll make it type attitude. Kind of like hipsters, but cool. I guess I don't know, but like, how how would you guys feel if they license out to like major third party companies, respected third party companies? Yes. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't think Hasbro. I don't think Hasbro needs third party. <laughs> oh, they need them, but the problem is they would they would affect the, the product. They no, they it, don't. They've been man. around for thirty plus years, man. Do you think that they're not going to be around for another thirty? Come on, Hasbro. Man. Hasbro doesn't need third party, but Hasbro's Transformers line may. Yeah. Right, uh, and I, I just think they would affect. Uh, they would affect the product being put out. They would have. They would still have some type of control over the designs. They wouldn't just say, okay, pay us a fee and do whatever the hell you want. They'd still have some say over what they could do. Well, yeah, because it's theirs. Why would they not have a say over it? Well, when you license something out, it's not you might own the rights to the return of the property, but it's now yours to hold and to do with what you want as long as there aren't conditions set. And I think they'd set those conditions. And they'd be like, well, you can't do this, but they you got to do want, this. They don't want their stuff tainted. One thing's for sure. It would yeah, crush. do they? Do they not though? <laughs> one, one thing's for sure. It would crush fucking repro labels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the more than one designer thing at Takara, though, like, how many designs are sitting there ready to go already, and they oh, can't release yeah. a toy? Like, that's a big fucking issue as well. Like. Yeah, Why well, they that? have. A- I'm I'm sure there's more designs than we've even seen. They um there'd have to be stuff sitting there that hasn't been announced yet. So why the fuck can't they just get tracks out for starters? I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's not passing tests. Like you know what I mean. Like I'm guessing that they've had issues. Like any time that that shit gets pushed back, like the, the the amount of like shit they had to put their toys through, is is respectable. You know that's why like you know we we know we don't usually have much, you know breaking type QC issues with masterpieces overall because they have to put right. them through so much stuff. Um, so I'm guessing that there's just been some, some bumps in the road. Well, we'll maybe hire a second person to run the test as well then instead of Amen. just one one guy testing every fucking toy before it goes in a box. They got fucking Johnny down there swamped with boxes yeah. of tracks. I don't know. I just pictured them putting two little crashed, plastic crash test dummies and, tr- and skids just throwing them into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> They got Hector down there, man. He's not, you know, he needs help. All right. Well, let's move on. <laughs> Betatron is a thing? Yeah. <laughs> knockoff, knockoff looking uh, superior on there. Pretty yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. The red, the, uh, I'm on the <laughs> menstrual cycle uh, there's, superior. <laughs> there's so much red, it just looks fake. Like, this is like, you know, family dollar transformer. It's just giving of, it ten licks of red paint. <laughs> it's just it's ten coats of, of paint on there. I just need ten. I just need that's all I need is ten licks it's of the, red paint. And this is just like to show where the breakup is going to be because it's not even the right red. You know what I mean? He's a he. He looks like a special guy. He's a special guy wearing his little crash helmet with his little <laughs> red shirt and red pants with his legs <laughs> hanging out. With I ride behind the driver. I do. <laughs> He's my friend. The driver. No. Okay. Notice that they even put the legs on backwards. Like, yeah, it looks better. It does. Ugh. Smoke screen. Is that? Who's the black one? Is that? Uh, a- smoke screen and who cares? Trailblazer. Yeah. <laughs> Trailblazer. His knees are beckoning someone, like they're trying to give a hand job. Like, please, case. please shoot me. Yeah, and, and the head, the head, the head still just looks like it just looks like a, a very red Superion. Yeah, that's, that's sad, but Superion's the best one out of them, and it, and this they no, not anymore. No, man, <laughs> not anymore. Man, come on, man, come Dawn, on, head, bro. Dawn at the Botcon repaints again. Oh, <laughs> again. oh is this the drill? Ugh. Uh, <laughs> hey, they're making Comptron, so you're welcome. Good job. What is this? That is the uh, three of the, the council of uh, shit and um, Chitticus. It's Ramborn. Oh, it's it's is it it's brawl 
Or brawl, brawl, yeah. No, it's Ramhorn. Yeah. Little bat mm-hmm. ears. It's, it's, it's a first party, Ramhorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's got ankle tilt, so fuck y'all, man. Does, does, this, does this figure actually have two remolded things? A remolded gun and a remolded head? Uh, yeah. I don't know, look at his little wings on top of oh, it. He's gonna nope, fly. I, I just figured it out. That's that's not remolded by uh, the, com- the Botcon. It's going to be remolded by uh, Hasbro Official as uh, Nose Cone. Yeah, Never said they're, yep. they're going to get copy truck. All right. I can't wait to see what's that Mega Trash. What's her name? Dressed up like this. Oh, Trash. Trash. Oh, never mind. Trash about, I thought you were talking about. Oh, yeah, TBM. 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 <laughs> yeah, TBM. <laughs> She's going to try and get hooked up with TBU. <laughs> it was my favorite part of the convention, don't you, Mark? Yeah. My favorite part of the convention. Oh, we're going to go into that later. Hey, right, congratulations on whoever gets this. Botcon. Um, more garbage oh. from Hasbro. Lenny did the show notes. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like that, Lenny. Uh, I really don't. I really don't. Everything's garbage. Lenny, everything's garbage. Yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, there you is that go, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, it's Ravage. Ravage, he's farting in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Cerebros. The Grr, looking girl. If I could get that shockwave for like five bucks, I'm willing to say it looks better than uh, the Warbitron one and the Fans Project one. Holy shit, Legend Wheelie. What, what are you talking about? Where, I thought we were looking at this shit Ravage. Yeah, but if you scroll down, you'll see the shockwave. There's no handle. Oh, my God. It won't let me see Legend Wheelie. It's it's dildo wave. It's got no fucking gun handle. Chop Shop looks good. Nobody nobody cares that shockwave has no handle. No, we don't care, Robert. We're moving on. I like uh, (laughs) that. Chop Shop's good. They're going to have it. It'll probably plug into one of those giant holes sitting on top of uh, one of the combiner's hands. So So it won't have a handle. Legend Besso, all right. I like it. Um, I like it's, just it. it's poorly designed. Um, Pipes, all right. So discussion for the week, post-TFCon oh, feels. Shit. Um, well, look, one of the things, one of the stories I want to tell, I'll, I'll just break the ice. Um, break it. Anybody that's been listening to this show for, for any amount of time knows that uh, we RFC, hate you all. What? Yeah, that we hate you, and, <laughs> and the only way that Shattercast can. And that we have bumped heads with uh, with uh, Radio Free Cybertron. In the past. I haven't. Um, no, no, you haven't. He now, are you heads. speaking for yourself, or are you uh, speaking for everybody? Do you want me to do one? Do you want me to, do you want me to name like drop? That? Do you want me to like name that? drop personal? Like because I can do that. Name it, name play it. That do game. it, Bobby. Come on, Browns, Bobby. So, Did you say name drop or name chalk? So, what? I was. Um, Where do you see name dropping in five years? <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting outside of uh, um, of, of of the show on Sunday, Vaping. and my wife, <laughs> and my, wait, what did he say? Are you vaping? Was vaping. You vaping? No, vaping. no, 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 no. Oh, he was wasn't vaping. The, no, I was sitting outside the show. I was inside. Oh, okay, I'm not bad. I don't, I don't, I don't vape inside. Um, Good man. So I, I, I was sit, I was sitting out like outside by the bar, uh, outside of the proper show or whatever, and um, my wife and I were enjoying a drink. Because like it was like our, our first time to get to fucking really just kick back after all the the chaos. Oh, that's awesome. I just want to say that. Yeah, she is. No bullshit. No bullshit. She she really held me down. Nice really. lady. But um, anyway, I, I see Kilby and and Rob Springer walk in my direction. Kilby. Um. And we had, we had made eye contact, so it was too late to run. Oh. Yeah, it's like. No, no, no. But uh, no. So they they were walking up and um. And you know, Kilby and I were fine. Like we, you know, we were shaking hands prior to during the show. Like it's, it's not like you know, it's not like it's any drama. It's just you know, we've had some disagreements. And they walked up and they were like, uh, "Hey, are you going to the panel?" And I was like, "What panel?" And they said the podcast panel. And I was like, "No, uh, we just finished, so we're just you know, it's like our first chance to relax." I promised my wife I'd sit and have a drink with her. And uh, and they were like, "Well, you ha- you have to. It's a it's a podcast panel." Um, you got to do it. And I was like, no, I, I was like, I looked at it. I was like, I, you know, I, I felt it. I appreciate it. I didn't even know it was happening. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a big deal. And, and they were like, yeah, but it's like, it's us and, um, uh, transmissions and twin, twin cast. 
And I was like, I was like, yeah, but I, I wasn't invited. And you know, shout out to Kilby. He was like, you are now. Uh, so I looked at my wife, and she was like, go ahead. So I went in and I, I did this this podcast panel with them. Um, I, I call it the podcast panel because initially it was kind of like TFCon didn't uh, like set any kind of parameters as to what they wanted them to talk about. Um, so like it started off as kind of like a what do you think about the con. But uh, I, I, like, I think I was kind of responsible for helping to – well, not helping or whatever, whatever you want to call it, for turning into like a podcast discussion about creating podcasts, doing podcasts, but, what it's all about. You know what he didn't call? He didn't call Room 312 and say get down here. Or 209. Do well, you were gone I, at this point. Oh, I did, I did. I did not. I did, I did not. I did not make any phone calls. Um, and, and in all fairness oh, – uh, you know, like the, the from the amount of time that he said you're invited now till when I when I got on the panel was maybe twenty seconds, thirty seconds. Um, I'd like be I was, quick if uh, prompted. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thrown if up. You all said, if you would have said panel. cupcake or something. Yeah, else. but fuck it. I mean, it would have been the Shattercast way. Adapt and overcome, right? That is our way, isn't it? No, it is. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, so I um, <laughs> I was I was on there and uh and. Anyway, it was it was it was it was a good little little discussion, uh, you know. And Jeremy, shout out to that dude that, from Transmissions. Like, shout out, Jeremy. Yeah, he's a good dude. Like, uh, I don't know you, but shout out. And he like he he put up the link to it, and you know he gave he, he sent me the link, and he was like, you know, if you want to guys want to share it or whatever, and like he recorded it and all that, so you know, like he's they were much more squared away, I guess, in that regard. Well, I mean, I didn't we, we didn't know we were doing it, but. Uh, I want to shout out, shout out to Brave. Uh, he uh, entered. He uh, did a little thing with uh, me, Oscar, and uh, Robert D. That lasted a long time, and it was cool just talking with him and everything. And uh, uh, I'm a real big fan of his, and he's a real big fan of ours. And uh, it was really cool just sitting there talking in his room, you know, just you know answering questions and stuff. Yeah, Brave's a dude. Yeah, he is. We were fucking wrecked. Me and Oscar were just wrecked. Okay, and we go, we we stumble into Brave's room. He's got a camera out. He's interviewing. Who are they, Matt? They're like uh, yeah, voice, voice. Who cares? Kid voice actors. Yeah. And he's like, "It's a pajama party." I'm like, "A oh, fuck a pajama party." Yeah, and Robert got pajamas. pajamas. I run. I run away, and I go put on my pajamas, and I realize I don't know where the fucking room is. So I'm texting Oscar like, "Where's the room?" He's sending me to the wrong rooms. <laughs> I'm just opening doors because these doors don't all close. Remember? Mm-hmm. I busted in on family with their kids. <laughs> I finally uh, found it. That was fun. What a dumbass. Sorry, man. It was a great time. Good times. I mean, I mean what are we, are we just, I mean, it was, it was a good weekend. Um, I, had, I had a long drive, um, but I, I, made, I got it happen. Um, I got there and, you know, I got to, you know, see Justin, you know, as always, and his wife. And um, then Robert scared shit out of me, just come running at me like a, Bat out of hell, and uh, gave me you know a big hug and everything, and then I got to see uh, you know yeah. Bobby and everything. My and, my pants fell down. I still hugged you. I know that's that was hot, and uh, I got to see Bobby. You know. From my angle, <laughs> and uh, Oscar was like, "Oh my god, I saw your butt crack." Got to meet I, Oscar finally for the first time. That was awesome. I booked with, or I stayed with uh, Oscar and Yule. Shout to Yule. And um, I th- I thought Matt was gonna knock me over with his hug. It was it was very vicious. <laughs> well, you know, I lift you up. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you may have. Um, but yeah, it was just you know that's you know I was more I, I was looking forward to hanging out with them and everything more than you know getting toys and everything because you know it's our only time we really get to all hang out and everything. But it was it was a good con. It was a good place. The hotel was good. Um, it, it, it was, you know, the atmosphere was pretty, it was different than Chicago. I think uh, it looked, I think there was more stuff going on in Chicago than there was here. But um, it still was the dealer room was you know huge. It was wide open. It was a lot cooler in there. Um, you know, the artist alley was right next to it. You know, it was really cool. Uh, I got to, now I got to meet a lot of people. Um, you know that like I said, I watching my video. I give out shout outs to everybody. You know that came up. You know, and it was just it felt. You know, you felt the love I, when all them people were filming with us. It just felt. It was just awesome. I mean, it was it was another level of just. You know, this is pretty cool. You know, and um, I just want to say thank you. You know, like I said, you know, you're my second family. You always will be. You know, and it's just, it was a good time. I can't wait for next year. I really can't. Yeah, we had a huge turnout for the for the live episode. Like yeah. Uh, and for your video, really, you know, and all that stuff. And, yeah, yeah. For Brent, thank you for everybody that showed up for both. Um, 
it was a huge turnout. Like, uh, it was, it was, you know, it's flattering. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, it, but it was very cool. Yeah, we were gonna start in my room. We were like, um, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, because the more people started, like, you know, when, when I started thinking about the amount of heads, I was like, oh no, yeah, this is not gonna work. I mean, it was gonna, oh, and fucking uh, uh, Chris Pinkerton, you are a tall motherfucker. Yeah, hey, he's a tall glass of water. Damn. There's some, some long-ass camo pants, it Mac. Was. <laughs> Sexy little bitch. God dang, <laughs> he was tall. I was like, mother... Everybody's taller than me, but, you know, I'm just saying, he was tall. Yeah, those, uh, those ROC guys are cool guys, man. Very cool. Um, yes, very nice guys. Uh, what be. else? I'm trying to think. Oh, so I'll tell the P.I. story real quick. Um, oh, Chris... Uh, uh, Greg's got a good one, too. He held, he held his dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. So I'm walking inside um, from being outside, um, and uh, I was with uh, actually this time I, I think I was by myself, and he he like he he stopped me and he, and he was like are, are you Bobby Skullface and I said and I said yeah, um, which which most of the time like uh like well, 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 we'll get there, uh, and he was like he was like hey I'm I'm P.I. and I was like yeah yeah I know I know you are man and he was like uh, and he was like hey I don't have like any problems. With and I was like, well, I hope not. And he's like, What are you talking about? And he was like, Oh, okay. I, I was worried because people, uh, like, people write on his, uh, people say he said people write on his comments like, you know, like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, I only, I only watch Bobby Skullface or whatever. And like, I, I was like, I was like, well, you, I was like, you know how people are, man. I was like, I, I, I was like, I've never said to fucking write anything nasty to anybody, like, you know, and especially not him because he's not even like. Uh, you know the people that I keep my eye on. He's not even one of them. Um, like I, I usually, if I'm if I'm gonna watch like a uh, like a, a big time reviewer uh, video of something that I don't plan on getting, it's usually his that I watch. Um, oh, and I told him that. be me. Shit. But I was saying because this the shit that's, <laughs> this, that's yeah, but it's like you know the shit when it comes out early or whatever. Like you know like um, oh, you know who you like better than him. So I, he's glorious. So I said, so I said I was, I was like I was like yeah I was like we're good man and, and he was like okay he was like hey I'm doing a panel on Sunday so would you, would you like to be a part of it and I was like absolutely so I, I got to do that but so then later on um I'm I'm walking back inside and I'm with Yule and Yule by the way is just like I imagined him to be like yeah he he's is super he's chill super cool laid back fun loving dude like. Uh, like I, that's that's a good dude. So He's cuddly. I almost so, caught him by the way, really quick. I'm gonna cut you off. It. He was really fast. I was like, he had the Mason's hat on, right, and the Mason's T-shirt. I was like, hey, you got the hat? Yeah, you got the T-shirt. You got the secret handshake, and he almost did it. I almost caught him, <laughs> but then he caught himself. So, was it? Um, we're walking back inside, and um, I saw Duckett sitting uh, at this table. So like I like I, I gave him like a, a slap on his arm like like you know what you know what's what's up buddy At, on my way in and uh, he turned around I was like what's up man and like you know and I was like oh nothing I'm, I'm heading inside and then this guy uh, that was sitting at the table that he was at and he was just happened to be there it wasn't like it was like his friends or whatever like so to speak you know like it's not like guys he came with it's not like me sitting with Shattercast um, not like me and Matt right the guys you so, came with. <laughs> <laughs> so uh this other dude was like um was like what's what's up with your shirt so i'm wearing i'm wearing a skull face shirt and and i was like it's just it's skull face it's not it's, it's you know it was just funny because most of the time throughout the weekend i was like uh, i was like it's just a logo of like a yogurt i'm really into like if people didn't know about it or whatever the um, truth <laughs> yeah i love you so like so he was like, um, he was like, he was like, no, but I mean, what, what, what does it mean? And I was like, it just means the truth. And he was like, well, what's, what's the truth? And I was like, well, it's, it's the opposite of a, of a lie. And he was like, well, I don't get it now. Now, so I started getting irritated. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, and like I, anybody that knows me knows, like I, I'm, I'm easily irritated. Like it doesn't, you know, like no, it, if I don't know you, no. it doesn't take a whole lot. Um, so like. I, he was wearing this members only jacket and it was like in pristine condition. Dang. Um, yeah. So I was like, I was like, well, I'm, he was like, I, I was like, I'm more interested in this members only jacket. Like where the fuck did you find this? <laughs> um, and at that point, Yule came over. Um, and he was like, he was like, no, he was like, uh, 
just just tell me just tell me uh, about the truth because I'm not sure if I believe the truth. And I was like, and I was like, are you being an asshole right now? Because I kind of got a feeling you're being an asshole. Um, and then like the whole kind of tone of the table kind of changed. Um, and and Duckett was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> he said. He was like, I'm I'm cool with him. I'm cool with you. I was like, no, no, no. This isn't about picking sides. Like I'm I'm good. I just I feel like you're kind of being a dick. And I said, but don't worry about it. And I went I went inside. So anyway, Piao came down like about a half hour later and he came up to me and he was like, Hey man, he was like, did, did my friend say something stupid to you? And I was like, I was like, who's your friend? This was after karaoke at this point. And, uh, uh, he was like, he was a guy outside or something. And I was like, I was like, he was kind of being an ass. And, uh, he was like, I'm sorry. He was like, look, the dude's way drunk. He's upstairs. He's, he feels bad. Well, you know, the, the other guys are embarrassed. Like, you know, like we apologize, like, um, and I was like, I was like, okay, that's fine. But, you know, but like, I got to tip my hat to the guy. Cause, cause you know, he, he didn't have to come down and say a thing, you know, but he, but he, well, he didn't, he had his, he had his fucking friend come down and say something. No, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not saying I respect that guy. I'm saying I respect P.O. for coming down and, and saying, right. that. you know, so that, and that was, the only, that was the only little bit of negativity that I had during the whole show. And it was Friday night and it lasted maybe, you know, Five minutes from the time it began to the time the PIC, you know, or whatever, twenty minutes. All right, that was a good night. Yeah, the dealer room was good. Got yeah, some besides good that, deals. besides that one douchebag, everybody else is pretty cool. Yeah, and I mean, you know, maybe I just caught him at a bad moment. You the, know? Stealing, the stealing, oh, fuck training. That guy. the stealing training. The stealing training. Fuck you. Are, fuck you. I, I hear you. That's all I have to say. What about the stealing training? Hey. Um, oh, that shoots. That was that was great. Me and Matt were at a parts party. It was awesome. Matt could sniff those out like a like okay, there was a sign. But we went to the parts party and there's there's this you know there's a tranny in a purple purple skirt and she he had a, a bag skirt. full of parts and she was she was like just shoplifting parts and the guy there was like just made it very clear to everyone and everybody walking in he's like these this these uh, this isn't my stuff. I'm selling it for someone else on commission. So I don't give a damn. Like, why are you saying this? So the tranny's just going, going nuts, just stealing. And then after a while, he noticed her shopping bag was full, like a basketball. Remember that, Matt? Yeah. And he was like, "Where'd you get all those parts?" And she's like, "Downstairs." <laughs> and he's he like, "Okay." And she still stayed in the room shoplifting. And like, you know, people would come, and she hit on the headmaster Don, and he felt very uncomfortable. And uh, I think she grabbed his butt. It was pretty funny. And uh, that was pretty funny. Everybody walked in. I said, go look at the tranny. Go, go. Good times. Good times. I'll hear Greg's. I'll hear Greg's good times. I want to shout out that guy in the bathroom the whole fucking weekend. And not not you. The the other dude. The the Jesus looking fucking the the full about or the big Lebowski looking motherfucker that uh, with the Jesus beard, uh, he was always smoking cigarettes. Like no matter where I was headed, he was headed downstairs to smoke a cigarette. Or Is that the guy we saw the, the Saturday night, or Friday night uh, outside? Yeah, yeah, that guy was fucking cool. Okay. Yeah, dude, he, he bought Deathsaurus cool. and a fucking um, yeah. Bought two, he dropped two G's on fucking two G one. Uh, Leo Kaiser. I don't know who yeah. he is, but he was supposed to have been there. Like you could just tell by the way he carried himself. Like he was supposed to be there. Was we supposed you, to be there? Speaking of other people supposed to be there, um, we were kind of fortunate in one regard uh, because Say Saturday there was like a Hispanic <laughs> Hispanic women's Ooh, group yeah. that came in for Reba, like Reba. for like another convention, like a one night kind of gathering. One night stands, and, and there were so many gorgeous women in there Saturday night. Like, God damn it! Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, they want and, some nerds too. So no, they definitely did not. And then and then oh. and then they they well, they, they might have wanted you, of course, but but, but yeah. they, were, uh, they definitely stuck in there. They left some big guys. Yeah. So then, like, uh, so then, so here, here's like, here's like, you think, okay, well, that was like an added bonus. But then the next day, it was like an elementary school teachers convention, and here what? came in another fucking boatload of hot chicks. Shit! I didn't <laughs> see that one. Um, yeah, and they, yeah, they weren't. They were. They moved in beside me on both sides, and they were bitches. Uh, yeah, I can. Me. I can believe that. 
Yeah. Well, Kate went up there because we were going to go down to the bar, and uh, I was like, well, I don't want the dogs to bark, and I didn't feel good anyway. I definitely didn't feel like sleeping in the car the last night. And uh, she, I guess she, I went upstairs to talk to Swage, and because uh, he was like yelling at me from like 15 floors up, you know, like us uh, lowbrow folk do. So I went up there to talk to him, and uh, I guess she had knocked on the door and was like, hey, we got a dog, you know. And the one was like cool about it. It's like, oh, it's okay. And then in the back, one's like, yeah, I know, I already heard it. Shut your ass up, bitch. Like, whoa. Sorry. And then this one had the nerve to fucking take a shower and make the other dog bark. Fuck, motherfucker. <laughs> I know, man. This that's my fault. man. I know, that's my fault. scare my dog. Fucking awesome. Motherfucker. I got something out of TFCon that I'll always remember. Uh,. My buddy Oscar sent me a video of Matt sleeping, which I can watch over and over again. So. Oh, that's <laughs> creepy. I've only like watched it 25 times, Robert. Jesus. I snore like a creepy. beast. I want to jerk off to it. Yeah, uh, Matt might have a little sleep apnea, actually. Oh, I got it. I'm, it ain't little. It's full. That's uh, demonic possession. Yeah, that's sl- that's I, what that is. I stayed in the fucking room Matt last year. I, I, that's why I was like He's holed up in the bathroom me. taking pictures. Yeah, I told him I was like, dude, like you need your machine, and yeah, four year later. I know. Where's your CPAP, I Matt? Well, you know what? Now well, nobody will want to stay with me next year. Nobody will want to stay with me next year. I ain't I'll stay with you next year, Matt. Thank you. I don't sleep anyway. That shit's not good for your health, man. You need to square that. I know it's not. I'm fat and I'm overweight. I know. I, need, I mean, I'm but yeah, well, that's a separate. You know what I mean? But at I'm least it's you can do something. But no, come on, man. No. <laughs> um, oh, shout out you to Andrew. Andrew came by, um, he he texted me, and he was like, uh, hey, have you left yet? This was Thursday night. And I was like, no. Um, oh, Gord? Like, yeah. Oh, whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Say it. Proceed. Oh, no, no, no. I was confused. You said oh, Andrew, and then you okay. said Thursday night. I thought you were talking about Diecast, and I was like, wait, what? No, 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 no. Uh, and then no, when he uh, said Gord, yeah, I heard the story already. So. Yeah, Gordon. so, he, and he was like, uh. And he was like, hey, do you mind if I stop by, uh, kind of avoid the, the D.C. Beltway traffic? And and I was like, yeah, sure. So he stopped by, you know, and we're talking. Uh, and he kind of like, you know, it was like he said he was like an hour out, but ended up taking longer. So, like, my wife and I tried to, like, put off dinner so that we could have him for dinner. Uh, but then, like, it was like it was taking too, it was taking too long. We were fucking starving. Hey, so we hey. ate. And, uh, yeah, so to speak. And then and then he got here, and, and he had already eaten Ooh. anyway. So, uh so anyway, they uh, he like hung out for a bit, and you know we hung out in the basement for a bit, and whatever. And, like, mm-hmm. right. Well, and then, and I started, dessert I started, was available. And then I start uh, crushing, I start crushing beers, and I was like, I would offer you one, man, but uh, <clears throat> you're driving. But yeah, you're driving, and uh, and he's like, yeah, and then he's like hanging out, hanging out. Well, anyway, like like I expected him to like hang out for like an hour or two. Like I told him when he got there, I was like, look, eight thirty. You know, by eight o'clock, you should you should be good to get back on the road. Um, cause it was like six thirty then. And, uh, and, you know, and then like eight, eight came, eight thirty came. And I was like, and I was like, yes. man, like, it's, you know, yes. no, 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 it was like, I was getting <laughs> late. Like, you know, like, like nine o'clock came and I was like, look, man, I was like, do you want to just stay? And, Aww. you know, and then he was like, you know, he was like, uh, if I stay, can I have a beer? And I was like, sure. So like, then he had a beer and then he ended up staying leaving the next morning. But, uh, Laura you know, made him a fresh loaf of bread and a pie. It, it, she made him. She made him an omelet in the morning, oh, or an egg. Or something. Clothes. She well, was see, like, put on this robe so I can watch what you're wearing. I mean, here's another thing. Like, like, like Andrew is like Andrew's cool dude, but, but Andrew is very, very skinny. Um, and like some of my wife, like I think she was trying to feed him from like the moment he came in. You know, just like when <laughs> he was so food like, at him. Yeah, like the when he, ate. He, when he was here before, she like really, really wanted him to eat. Like she just has this like this nature about her. Like so uh Is that yeah. why she never offered me food? Oh so because she thought you were all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's you're good. good. He's good. You're you're done. He's good for a couple of years. <laughs> Bobby tell him to lose weight. No, nah, she never said anything like that. Does he have sleep apnea? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um uh, yeah, so that's about it for TFCon. I mean, it was it was just a good time. I mean, you know, Greg was a trooper. He was really sick, and he still did manage yeah. to hang out. I wish yeah. I would have hung out more with Greg, but yeah. you know, he got sick from both jangles. I came up. I came up to the room. I came up to the oh, room. Oh, that's that great. Night. That was the best time. Well, we, here's we what's fucked up. up. 
Be hanging so out with you. Me, you and hanging out by ourselves. That was a, that was the best time, man. I was on vacation, <laughs> and <laughs> you know, I do uh, I do stuff with uh, with with college sports, and uh, I uh, was I was in bed. I actually watched The Hangover for the first time uh, all the way through, and then Kate came up and wanted to watch. Uh, oh no, wait, this was. Oh no, this is the night before. No, that's yeah, that was Saturday. And then she made me watch the end of the OS, the Ohio State football game. And so then I I, I I wait for her to fall asleep and I go up to Matt's room. And then Yule's like, man, there's only like two college football teams I like. He's like, one of them's Ohio State. And I'm like, oh, God, here we go. So then we talked about fucking Ohio State for like two hours. So I was like, it's my punishment. They can get away. This is it. This is hell. This is hell. I have to do my job for two more hours. But no, it was fun. I got to meet Oscar. and Yeah. I got yeah. to. Really? That was awesome. Things. Friday night was fun. Oh. Drank some moonshine. A lot of running around. Uh, Pia reviewed my dog. He said it was a uh, solid unit. <laughs> you reviewed your dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, was was what was the articulation? Like, this is a that? good dog. And then he was like, give me 25 bucks. And I was like, all right, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I want this dog, I want this, I want this I dog feel, for free. I made him feel a little uncomfortable, I think, because uh, Kit makes fun of me because I, I watch YouTube when I'm pooping. And uh, <laughs> Pia's got that music. Funny. You know that music he's got that, dun, 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 dun. and that shit reverberates. And uh, Kit's like, "Are you in there having that dance party?" And I was like, "Kit, come here. I want you to meet. This is Ben. This is Pia. This is the guy who, when I'm pooping, you always ask him on a dance party." <laughs> 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 he just well, looked at me like, "What?" Yeah, my music's not going while you're pooping. It was funny because like 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 that music is like a like a royalty free track or whatever. Yeah. Or like one of those, he's you like, know. It's just a royalty free track. I'm like, yeah. No. yeah. So like. <laughs> One time, Yule, Yule hit me up, and it was like, I forget what it was. I think it was like a jewelry commercial or something. And like he was like, he was like, hey, why this why this jewelry company, Jack P. House Music? <laughs> 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 so now, like, Yule always sends me links whenever he hears it and other stuff. Yeah, Yule's um, a good really, guy. He, I got to stay with Yule, and he's a, he's a nice guy. Yeah, hey, look, my wife lost about her badge. He's, gonna be. he's yeah, about exactly. what you think he's going to be. Yeah. My wife lost. He's like, no, nah, dog, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. I'm like, you're from fucking. Nah, you're from California. You're from California. Yeah, he was, you're uh, he, was, he was exactly what right. What was you saying, Bobby? Sorry. My wife lost her badge Friday night. Um, oh, yeah. And she was like, I've lost my badge. Oh, no. And I was like, and I like looked like I looked like around like for like a second. And I was like, look, I was like, they're, they're going to let you in. Like, you know what I mean? We pay for the table. Like, it's a table. It's a dealer thing. Like, it's, uh, you know, like our IDs were seen. Like, we're good. Um, we'll, we'll get it sorted. Don't worry about it. Um, but like, you'll fucking spent like 20 minutes looking for that fucking, you know, like outside digging through fucking couch cushions, cushions and shit, like trying to find her badge. Like it was good. She was her lanyard or just her badge? Her, her badge. Oh, no, I they, had were, they were paper thin. They were just like a. I, I wish they would have laminated them like last year. Um, I guarantee was... you, I had that badge Saturday morning. Oh yeah. Guarantee. Pushing the merch down, I was flashing it, and I was like, "Yeah, well, I, I was like, I lost my lanyard." And the guy was like, "Yeah, stamp." I'm like, look, I just need to get the shit in there. You can fuck me later by checking in. And he was like, "I don't know." And I had a fuck police escort pushing a fucking bell cart full of pint glasses to Bobby's table, <laughs> and they're all looking around, they're like, "It was calling around, I'm like, don't let Colin see." All right, get him in, go, 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 go. Yeah. We did okay. We did okay. Shattercast wise at the table, we um we sold some stuff. Shout out to everybody that stopped by and picked something up. Yeah, uh, I was hoping for more. I actually, I actually ended up talking us talking us out of a sale by accident, um, which wasn't the highlight what of the my fuck. Yeah, it wasn't the highlight of my weekend. Um, was it the fun pub guys? No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, you listen to the show. We love you. There was this couple like looking at. Uh, there was a couple looking at this stuff, and they were like, it's so cool. Like, you know what I mean? They kept saying stuff like that over and over again. Um, and they were like, you know, like, they were, they, and they, you know, like, they are like, pint glasses, but, like, it's so cool. And I was like, I was like, you guys listen to Shattercast? Uh-oh. And they were like, what's Shattercast? Uh-oh. And, like, and I was like, it's it's a podcast. Like, it, this is kind of like the, like the, like a, a thing, like a funny bit from the podcast. And I tried to start talking about it. They are like, oh. They were like, we love Shattered Glass. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, yeah. I was like, I, I was like, I was like, I'm, I'm not sure if, 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 you know, this. But I was like, they're still that. nice. They're still nice glasses. And they're like, yeah. Well, we'll think about it. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, fuck. Motherfucker. My, my, one of my Where highlights was um, right when we got the there. Massage? The hotel. Uh, no, right. Swimming, I got a or... fucking. 
<laughs> massage, big deal, you jelly. I would have gotten hey. a new one too. But uh, uh, right when I got there, like 11.30, Oscar got in too. I was like, meet me by the bar. I'm hungry. And I was like, you want a burger? Yeah. I was like, cool. Can we get two burgers, two shots of whiskey, and two beers? And it was just like more whiskey, more beer, more whiskey, more beer. And he hadn't eaten. Like he, he ate like a, like a diabetic's nightmare for breakfast while dra- driving seven hours since three in the morning. And he was like, come on, I'm getting fucking wrecked. And it's not even noon, man. Come on, what are you doing to me? And then he met Justin for the first time. And he was fucking sloshed. <laughs> it, it, it was very fun. And the whole the rest of the weekend, we were like chasing the dragon. You know. Oh, Justin, what do you think? Oh, we have heard Justin. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so was a, I mean, it was a good con. Uh, the panels were okay. I mean, except for... The one I'm sure we'll talk about later. Um, the dealer room was nice. Like I liked the artists and the dealers in the same room. That was nice. And yeah, whoever was running that hotel has dealt with Con Funk before because they made that shit cold. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Can't there was get like, hated up in that motherfucker. Yeah, like, you know, most people were probably not producing any type of uh, sweat. So, uh, yeah, it was a relatively stink-free zone. So that was always good. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Um, just to piggyback off what you said, like I was really bummed that we missed uh, Rick's oh. Alvarez panel. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, and like you know, I came in. We came in like I guess ten minutes, fifteen minutes before the next panel. And uh, by the end of the next panel, like man, I wish I came to the other panel instead. Like it seemed so much more interesting. I caught. I it. hope somebody I recorded it. it. Yeah, Someone recorded it. It's worth mentioning too that. Um, that Sucked. James Roberts, Alex Spellman, and uh, uh, Greg, or not Greg Berger, but um, uh, Gary Chalk uh, were, were all unavailable. But I guess Alex and James both had visa issues. So that knocked out a lot of the good IDW stuff on uh, Sunday. So that really killed Sunday. Um, mm-hmm. Which, for me, it worked in my favor because I was not really up and about until the wee, wee hours of the afternoon. You know, late in the day, like seven thirty, I was like, "All right, fuck, I guess I'll get up and go drink some ginger ale." But um, you're, yeah, like a lot of the stuff I really Greg wanted Parker. to see. A lot of the stuff. Actually, I was surprised, man. I was really surprised when I met him. I met him on the elevator, and like you see him, and like you see his face a lot, and you're like, "Oh man, that dude looks." I'm not saying he looks bad, but you're like, "Oh, that dude looks great." Like, what is he like thirty? Like, how's he do it? And then when you, you see him, and he's like, "Can you get the door for me? I'm gonna help a uh, help an old dinosaur with his bags." But no, nah, he was uh, he was super nice. Um, oh, another thing. Speaking of the Hill Hasbro, I don't remember who I was with. It was with one of you guys because I know at least two of us were in the hoodies. And uh, some kids came up and tried to fucking get snippy with us. What? And I don't what? remember who it was. It might have not been with you guys. It might have been with someone wearing a shirt. They're like, what are you guys doing here? It's like, you guys with Hasbro? How's Hasbro doing tonight? And then we were like, what? And it's like, yeah, you got Hasbro stuff on there. Like, no, this is Hail Hasbro Did with a frowny face. Hand? Did you lift up your hand? It's like, it's Hale Hasbro with a frowny face? And they're like, oh, we thought you were with Hasbro. And I'm like, yeah. What well, if well, I was? Not to shit out your little ass. I don't know. Who was I with? It wasn't one of you guys. It wasn't me because I was sucking yeah, shit me. out of them. Nope. I'm no, me. we were I don't, We were downstairs. We just lost them. No, it was like, I don't think we were even outside. I think it was downstairs inside. And I'm trying to remember who I was sitting with inside. That's some Friday night. I don't remember. But yeah, they were like, oh, what's up, Hasbro? And I was like, fun pops upstairs. Go get them. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, it wasn't like. I mean, you know, they were just. Right, like, right, right, right. They, they, they thought they were going to troll we're Hasbro, which, 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 which little did they know was right up our alley. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, if I had known, if I had realized who was actually at the convention, I'm like, come on, let's go to room 537. Right, 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 right. Let's go knock on some doors. Um, also, I do want to say one more thing, too. Uh, just just unrelated to the convention. This is actually for the Target of Concord, uh, North Carolina. We stopped at Target on the way there to pick up a couple of supplies. And to have the, the America's, or no, have the, the world's largest fan-run uh, Transformers convention in town, man. The fucking selection of Transformers at that Target was fucking pathetic. It was one row of pegs straight down, and it was all R.I.D. It was the new repaints, and that was it. 
No, I don't. What you know who's ex- in fucking town? What would you expect now, though? Like, do you even look at in stores? Fifteen Alpha Bravos. Like a rainbow of Alpha Bravos. <laughs> <laughs> you know the entire wave. But yeah, yeah. Like, to, to get the, the 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 last like fifteen minutes of, of of Rick's panel, I was like, I was really interested in. Um, and and then I was not very interested in the third party panel, which was kind of just a bummer. Yeah, but if you listen to that video, you hear sh- you hear Shattercast's presence. <laughs> we class that motherfucker up. We class it up like like the whole thing. Every time someone's talk, every time someone says something, you hear Hey, last, bro. And then we hear Osbro, yeah, my, or I said Osbro, you hear Oscar, <laughs> yeah, my, hi, oh, ass, bro, bro. When someone's like, hey, what's your car? And it's like, hey, okay, I see. I tell you, Oscar's <laughs> another one that was, like, meeting him was just like I expected him to be. Like, yep. you know, like. Hey, like, bro, how you doing, bro? He, he's the same, He like, he is the same dude. Like, it's, yep. it, like, it's constant voices and lulls and funny shit. Like, it's good, it's he's good times. Bigger than I thought he would be. He's a big guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a big dude. Yes. Um, big guy. But uh, Justin, did you would you have anything anything more to add? Uh, I went to the uh, costume contest panel just because you know there was a the first day there was an awesome prowl costume walking around there. Uh, I don't know if everybody <laughs> caught that on the registration day. Did anybody see that? Yep. Yeah, that thing was awesome. Anyway, so I went to the costume contest for the heck of it. And, like, you know, there were some good things. There was a hound that was made mostly out of, like, power wheels and stuff like that. Uh, Well, not mostly. I don't want to downplay what he did. But, you know, at least the chest was a power wheels toy cut up. uh, A jazz made out of cardboard. And then there was, like, a trillion and one people who were like, I'm the hollow form of so-and-so. And, like, you know, there's, like, a chick walking around in, like, a white shirt with, like, a black, like, corset thing. And she's like, I'm Prowl. I'm like, okay. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. I feel like hollow forms are a big cop-out on that thing. And, like, you know. Uh, you, you need to check out Tumblr and some of the fan fiction. It'll all make sense, huh? I there guess, I guess. That was Cyclonus. That was pretty good. Yes, that one was good. Uh the chick who did one. Starscream, she was okay too, but like I feel like when you just throw on clothes and you're like, All right, I'm that character, like I don't think you deserve to win over anybody who actually took like time crafting like these pieces. Like there was a a a, a pipes there and uh like the work that had to have gone into that person's costume was like leagues above even that Starscream chick who won like third place because all she had was, like, I have a yellow tie to be the the, the cockpit. I will uh, cut out the wings out of cardboard and make a crown. And then the rest is just, like, you know, a white shirt, a red dress. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember her. Cause someone asked her about it. She's like, yeah, I'm not really even into Transformers. I'm here with my friend. And uh, he said this looked like Starscream. Yeah. So <sighs> she won third place, you know, uh, which I feel bad for, you know, like I said, the pipes person. There was a, a brainstorm that was like made mostly out of like uh, uh, like storage containers, but like it kind of worked, you know. Like, but like but he obviously he obviously did more work than the people who just wore clothes and got received better results. Did you, you say know? it was Tupperware? Uh, not really Tupperware, <laughs> but you know, it was, it was close. I mean, there was there there, and they had like a little kids one, which was kind of cool too, and like. Somebody made their kid a tailgate costume, which was essentially just a box with some stuff on it, which worked perfect. <laughs> so, now, yeah, I, I dressed mean, up Friday night, and nobody gave me any kind of respect whatsoever. Yeah. What did you dress up as? Respectable person. I had like five shots before I walked downstairs, and I took a "Hi, my name is" tag and wrote "Learny de Scherftecron" on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I then I walked around that. and introduced myself as Lenny to everybody, you- and. Oh, no right. No there were a it. lot of people there that were asking, you know, and, and upset that Lenny couldn't make it. Yep. Yeah. I also, uh, uh, going back to that panel, I got a, a TBM. We won't, I won't give it away, yeah. but like yeah, TBM. The, the, the description of like, you know, everybody else is like how they crafted or came up with the costumes, which by the way, all you fucking hollow form people are like, oh, I just threw some stuff together and decided to run with it and see what happened. <laughs> Not yeah, TBM, though. But anyway, 
TBM's like, uh, you know, I got this off of Amazon, and the gloves are, uh, you know, I got them, and yeah, but she's like my favorite part of the con, I just gotta say. So. Yeah, TBM oh, yeah, awesome. that was, I got a great picture. She scared yes, me. she did. She's yes, sending on Bobby's kiss through college, I know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she 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 comes by the she supports DMH. There's no doubt about it. Right, she, did she, she, did she swing by on Sunday? Oh yeah, picked up a Megatron blanket. You didn't even tell me that. Yeah, my bad. Like yeah. TBM uh, met up with wait, wait, this, this story is worth telling. Um, so TBM came by uh, Chicago. We told the story before. It was, it was worth repeating just to set this up. And and it just like she came by and and she was interested in in my book and. The, the book is a little pricey, and I was just like, I don't know if, you know, I just don't know if, if it's if it's the right thing for you. Um, which, which in my head, I was thinking this, you know. So she was like, how much is it? And I, you know, I, I hate telling the price prices of, of the higher end items because, like, you know, I feel like that's the second before I hear the rejection. Um, so I was like, it's, it's 80 bucks. And she was like, I'll take it. Like straight away, <laughs> so like it kind of became like a like a joke amongst us because she blew our fucking socks off. So anyway, she comes back by the table on Sunday, literally, uh, and and <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and um and and Laura spotted her and, and zeroed in on her this year. It was the exact opposite from last year. Um, it was like, hey, come here. She came over. And she was like, you know what you need? A Megatron blanket. And she was like, mm-hmm. how much is it? And Laura was like seventy, and she was like, "Okay." And say it was the same exact thing. Actually, she said, "Let me see if I have it." Yep, I got it. Same exact thing. Money bad. Yeah. TBM. All I was gonna say was TBM ran into TVU <laughs> over the summer and got a fucking got a new body and new troops command. <laughs> and that, that <laughs> made you my guys know what TBM stood for. <laughs> you said it already, Greg or uh, Robert. Uh, right, 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 right. Um, but yeah. Yeah, she's she's all, she's aces in my book. Uh, the the actually the star scream uh, chick, uh, like this is like a, this is like a, a good story and a bad story. So like, uh, I mean it's a good story all around. But she, she, all right. So when you work the tables, like it's hard to to talk to everybody that when when you have like a lot of people coming up and wanting to, to find that information about what you have. So you kind of want to be as quickly uh, like to get across your point as you can and then address everyone so that everyone feels welcome and et cetera, et cetera. So the, when, when people t- like, you know, ask a lot of questions right there at the table, you know, you really invest in because you think that they're really invested into it. And, and the chick that was dressed up as Starscream was, was, was one of those, like the hologram Starscream. Um, so here's the, here's the positive aspect of this story. She, uh, she spent like probably a half hour at my table uh, talking, um, and she said that she used to draw and all this shit. But you know, she had like a bad experience in art school and quit drawing altogether. And you know, oh, I was talking God. to her, and I was talking to her about my process and, and and you know, et cetera, et cetera. So then the next day, she came back by the table and talked for like another half hour. Um, but she showed me pictures like that night. She went out and bought like a sketch pad and pencils and like started drawing again. And she was drawing like anime stuff. And that's cool. It was cool. It was very cool. Um, but you know, I, I had invested like an hour's worth of time in talking to this young lady, which is fine. Uh, and then she ended up buying a one dollar Optimus print. And I was like, God damn. <laughs> the, uh, is this the one that had the full on well, she's crown? Or no, she no, no, on no, no. On the, uh, the sketch pad. This, this was the <laughs> best. Okay, the one with the vest that uh, that we. Yeah, when we were sitting there for lunch or something for dinner, we're like, Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, which was which was which was fine. Just, which is one we actually sp- she spent her money on the sketch pad, man. Come on. Yeah, I know. I heard. Oh. Yeah, and and, 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 and that's and that's probably best best for her. Uh, I'm happy. Like she she because she was like she was really excited about it. So like it was actually a good moment, but it was just like God damn man, I get get the ten dollar out of this lease, fuck. But it's all good. Man. It was a fun time. For the it most was. Part. It was actually like, like I, I, like you know, it bummed me out that you were sick. Um, but you know, it was, it was, it was probably my, my, my aside from that, and aside from from Robert D doing pool parties, it was probably my, um, it was probably my favorite con experience. Bobby put one in the hate bank too. We were walking one. upstairs. Put one in the hate bank. We were oh, okay. walking upstairs Sunday night, and uh, we're walking the elevator, and like I didn't feel very good at my dog, and. I'm like, I'm going to bed. He puts his arm around me like he's going to kiss me. He's like, I'm going to put my arm around you and walk you upstairs. And he's like, in two weeks, you're going to hate hey. me for something. And he's like, 
I want you to think about this this, this walk to the elevator with my arm around you. <laughs> Next time you want to fucking kill me. He's like, you just remember this. Everything will be okay. Yeah. yeah I, I think you said it was going to be less than two weeks. Yeah, I was like, yeah, probably tomorrow, by tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> and that breakfast, though. The breakfast yeah, wasn't bad. I missed it every day, but then finally on Monday I got some breakfast. I told the lady I wanted a couple pieces of jalapeno, and she gave me fucking five, like five whole peppers. Yeah, the food was good, pretty good all the way around. I actually, I bumped into the, uh, you, you know, like the lady that always runs like the logistics of the panels, the blonde chick. Yeah. Um, you know, like she's, she's cool. Don's, uh, girlfriend. Yeah, she's, cool. <laughs> she's she's, she's kind of no nonsense, you know what I mean? Which is great. Uh, but like, we were both we were both coming into this one particular door at the same time, and she she bumped the fuck out of me. Um, like I mean, like to a point where like I almost lost my bearings a bit. You know? <laughs> she, she got me, she got me good. It was totally by accident. She was like, she was like, oh shit, like I'm so sorry. And I was like, no, 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 it's fine. I don't want any problems. I've, I've gone to more than one TF con. I know how you roll. <laughs> um, funny, but yeah, like yeah, I remember the the, the walk up and the, the hate. Break. It was good, man. It was good. It was a lot of good times. Like, uh, you know. Hanging out and talking. I mean, a, a buddy of mine that I know, uh, you, you guys might know him from the groups and stuff. Ian Tyler, like he was there. Like I, I know him. Oh, he was a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a great dude. He's a great dude. I, I know him personally, like um, prior to the fandom stuff. I actually was lining up uh, the 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 first morning for um, to get in. Uh, I was behind him, and we were just chatting, and and we, you know, he was just like, "Yeah, my friend Bobby." I'm thinking you mean Bobby's girl face, don't you? <laughs> But I didn't say, you mean Scoface? Yeah. Just, after a while, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I forget how it came about, but he's like, oh, I'm E.M. Tyler. I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, well, what a surprise. It's just, you know, what a, what a coincidence that you'd be here and I'm here. <laughs> oh, a buddy shit. of mine, uh, you guys might know from the group, Antoine was there. Um, yeah. That was, a, uh, that was a, a definite plus. There's some pictures floating around. Yeah, Darren. That was Darren cool. and his wife. That was Always good people. <laughs> Cool couple, man. A very cool couple. Um, yeah, I've hung actually, out with Darren a few times. Yeah, outside of everything. That's you gotta gotta mention, you're gonna leave people out now. No, I know. I, I don't. I don't mean to. There, uh, there was one of the. Oh, let's go through it. Fuck it. Uh, Big Jason Big and Jason. his wife, or girlfriend. I'm not sure. Lowry. 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 I want to give a shout out to uh, Get Right Robot. Like I, yep. um, I bumped into him in the in the coffee line, and like uh, I, I won't put it out there, but like he. Uh, he said some. He said some very kind things, um, and and if he's listening, which I don't think he does, uh, they were much appreciated. <laughs> I want to give a I want to give a shout out to uh, Swage Six Six, really yeah. nice guy, awesome guy. But um, Rob Springer, I mean, I, I've I've known uh, Robert for a little while and everything, but the two ETF cons I've been to, it's just when he talks to you, he just feels like you know he feels like family, like he's just like he's known you for a long ass time. And yeah. I, you know, I got to talk with him and the RFC crew uh, by the fire pit uh, for a little while. And he just he's just a really nice guy. I mean, it's just down to earth, you know, and just really he's really knowledgeable about Transformers and it was just a great time to talk to him and everything. So I like how he has a way of pulling in a conversation like a Jehovah's Witness or like a Mormon. He's like, Hey <laughs> like you'll be talking about whatever he would, but hey, 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 what do you guys think about this few Transformers? <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> he got that's like, what he got them, didn't he? He got a whole bunch I know, of them. he got like twenty of them, yeah, he got the whole series. But I mean, Except it's just talking to him, one. it's just Talking to him is like talking, I don't know, maybe like talking to your grandpa or something. It's like, <laughs> what? You're just sitting there talking to, you know, just a family member, you know? You just sit there and you just learn stuff from them. My grandpa's you know? dead. Uh, get. I get. So, so what kind of a family member does it feel like? Like the kind that you fuck? And uh, you can Can find this in the You see why I did not vote for him. Um. <laughs> Well, yeah, everybody that, that came by. It was just a, it was just like a, it was fun. Just a good, like a family reunion. Everybody cool. was really, fun. really, 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 really nice, except for that one fucking dumb douchebag with that coat. Yeah, no, was, nobody had an attitude, or you know, you, I feel so bad that I wasn't there and that guy was fucking with Bobby. It would have been so much fun to like fold someone in half. The one, the one dude, uh, my 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 buddy Brandon, uh, he was at Skullfest. He was there Saturday. Like I saw him in the morning, and he picked up the the Nero Rex, and I swear to God, I didn't see him for the rest of the show. I feel like he came in, grabbed his Rex, and went the fuck home. <laughs> Possibility. 
Um, it just it, it felt like a family reunion. Like everybody just got together. You know, like next year is going to be the same way. It just it felt good. I'll tell you who I missed. Uh, I missed uh, Justin Lenny? C. Justin. Well, yeah, Lenny. We we discussed that, but Justin C. Yeah, weren't there some? Weren't there supposed to be some people that were going that didn't like a, a Majid? What did yeah, he Mad, Magic, Magic Magic had to back out. He had, a, he had an emergency. He had a, oh, okay, I didn't. Know. Yeah, I, th- I thought there was a, quite a few people that were supposed to make it there, yeah, and they didn't. Majid, I'm detecting Kenji. a pattern, Majid. Um, but Justin, just to see, I, 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 you know, I, I like I was, I missed him. What happened to him? Was he all good? Uh, he got he had, he got like a new job or something. Like oh, okay, something. that's good. Oh, he had to buy a fifty dollar pair of shoes. He's going fishing. Link, link. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> cool fishing. Fishing. yeah, it was good fishing weather, you know. I would too. Um, but yeah, there's like fishing. Man? Yeah. yeah but fuck. Uh-huh. I'm in Arkansas, motherfucker. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a, there were there were a lot of Hale Hasbro shirts in that motherfucker on Saturday, man. And a yeah. lot of yeah. ladies. All right. No, no Brett. Not really. Good dude. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know I didn't I didn't know what to expect of him because he's from my like we're from the same town. And uh, we went to like the same elementary, middle, and uh, or the same middle and high school for a little bit, and we were a couple years apart there. And I didn't know what to expect. And this guy comes up, he's like, "Greg, hey man, it's Joe, Joe, Joe Britt." <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you're from fucking. <laughs> we both went to Frank Middle School. Had a nice daughter too. She was really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna her up on Ham and Justin now uh, Sunday. I was trying to get the pint glasses back up in my room, and I'm t- trying to talk to him, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> MP collector, MP collector is a really nice guy. Uh, yeah, I talked yeah, to, yeah. talk to him for a while, and uh, very cool. Yeah, dude. I, I, he, he's a big, he's from DC area, so I may go see him when I go up there and everything. So, big shout out Adam, to him, Adam Tucker, uh, John yep. Berenger. Uh, yes. Who was with John? I'm not sure the guy who was with John. I think oh, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy. Yeah, they were they were they were cool people, man. Yeah. Wasn't it cool when you were just walking? I mean, I was walking through the uh, you know the front, and uh, I had my Hell Hasbro shirt. He's like, "Man, I love y'all show, man." I don't know. I forgot his name. I apologize, but he's like, "Man, I love your show, man." I'm like, "Thank you." I'm like, "I'm delighted." He's like, "Oh, I know." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, right, cool." Saturday morning, talking <laughs> about who the biggest fan was. He's like, "I'm the biggest fan. I'm the biggest fan. I'm the biggest Shattercast fan." And they didn't even look like our, they were just like two guys. Like I didn't even know who they were. I'm the biggest Shattercast. They fan. started wrestling. Did you get in on that, Robert? I'm the biggest fan. <laughs> I paid to get on here. Yeah, <laughs> that was a. Uh, I don't know, man. Like uh, it, it was a lot of. It was. It was a very positive. You know, it was a lot of love that, that was in that place. Yeah, and it was fun. Some people just that came by my room to pick some stuff up, like John, uh, John D. Junior. Knows who he is, and his buddy. Um, welcome to my room anytime. Um, man, if we missed anybody, we apologize, but there's. I mean, uh, TJ Duckett, you know, he came up. I, I saw him this time. He didn't sneak up on me this time. I saw <laughs> you. I saw you, TJ. Goddamn, damn, squeeze uh, that shit out of my hand. God damn. I, I am ratchet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm ratchet. I want to memor- memorialize my challenge to TJ. When when we were at, uh, I think it was like that, that, that uh, what was that pre-dinner snack with the popcorn? Yeah, you got it. Whatever the hell that was. Yeah. And I was just like. Hey, uh, you know, TJ, I want to challenge you. He's like, to what? And I'm like, no, not to a fucking... He started doing push-ups. He's like, like what? Dude, <laughs> fuck, yeah. You know, I was like, I want to challenge you to, 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 to a new pose. Stop doing the Iron Man pose. I was like, now everybody's doing it. Maybe you were one of the first, but everybody does it. He's like, but it shows off the articulation. I'm like, yes, but I'm sure something else will too. So I challenge you to find the next new good pose. He's like, interesting challenge. <laughs> that sounds like him. Um, uh, I, 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 I met uh, Pack for Life, or is it Pack for Life or Pack hey. for Life? Is it Pack? Hey. I met. Uh, I said Pack in my review. Fuck whatever. I said hey. I met. I met Pack for Life. Uh, he actually lives close to me, so we're going to try to get together. Whatever. But he's, oh, he's cool. a, uh, yeah, he he's, he was a cool dude, man. Like he was like he was like, man, I don't want to come up and bother you. And I was like, what are you kidding me? Like you know, and like we 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 talked a bit, and then like he introduced me to like all like the. You know, like the Toy Dojo guys and all those, and uh, ages three and up, and all those dudes, and like they were like, "Oh, you?" He was, they were like, "This is Bobby," and like they're like, "Oh, nice to meet you." And he's like, "Bobby Skullface," and they're like, "Oh, oh, okay, all what right." The fuck's that? No, it, it was no, it was it was good. It was like a good oh, but it was like oh, like you know, it was it was like you're that motherfucker. That was that was cool. It was cool. Yeah, it was positive. Ed, Eddie's good people. Um, I got to see the uh, who was that? The one, and I don't want to. I don't want anybody to take this wrong. Over that one white guy that was with him. Um, I kind of got him in some trouble last year. Kind of like a like a like a heavy metal looking dude. 
Yeah, I kind of got him some trouble because he came to me like Sunday morning. He was man, I had a rough weekend. Chicago, he's like, I had to chug three beers for breakfast. And then, uh, like, later in the day, I was on the ele- I was walking to the elevator, and him and Eddie were walking up. And uh, I was like, um, man, I took the cue, went up and had a couple shots. I was like, I don't know who was good as three beers. And he kind of looked at me, and Eddie looked at him. And he's like, man, I'm sorry. I felt bad. I was like, oh, I thought you guys all did it together. Uh, uh, I, sorry. <laughs> I felt they, um, I, I met the, uh, another reviewer, uh, Broman or Broman. I'm not sure how Broman. it's like Broman. Broman, okay, Broman. He, uh, he was a cool dude, a very nice dude. Like we, we talked for a good bit. Like he had a he had a buddy that like was uh, starting podcast and listened to Shattercast, and, like asking some questions. He's doing like a tech podcast or something. But it was, um, they were all very cool guys. And um, I actually I was talking to Broman and I was like I was like look because like I, I he does like I, I admire his transformation parts of his videos. And I was like, look, man, um, I was like, do you want to be in, do you want to, would you like to be in a music video that I'm doing? And he was like, yeah. And he was like, he was like, real quick though, I got to ask, is there any profanity? And then I was like, man, you might, I was like, I was like, I was like, no, there's not. But then I was like, man, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to shoot this footage. I'm going to put it in a TFCon wrap up, but I'm just going to keep you out of the music video. Just, just in case anything was in there that might, cause you know, maybe he's like a religious dude or something like, you know, just wouldn't sit right with him. So, but he was very cool dude. Oh, Mooncake. That was a cool dude. Also, uh, he's I, he's part of Sabertron somehow, um, but like you know, he was like he was like like he but he was very cool. Like he came up and he was like he was like man, I love Shattercast. I, I love your views. I love this. He was like he was like he was like he's like I'm part of Sabertron. Uh, I know you know like you know like you know we hate third party or whatever. Like you know what I mean? Like the the bit. But like he was like, but it's not like that really. And I um you know I'm a big fan of the show. So he was he was a very cool dude. No offense, man, but I don't know how I feel about that name, Mooncake. Yeah, that I know. I told like, him that, too. That sounds I was like, like the kind of thing you say to your buddies thinking you're slick, like, in front of a certain group of people. It's a Chinese I said, pastry. Oh, like, my little pony? I was like, well, I said to him, I was like, look, I'm, 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 I was like, come here then, man, because he was like, I love, I love Shattered Cast. I was like, well, then come here, man. Let me introduce you to everybody. Um, and I was like, do you want me to introduce you as Mooncake? And he, you know what I mean? and he was like, yeah, absolutely, Mooncake. And I was like, all right, cool. That last little bit tells you how everybody thinks here. I was like, I don't know, Mooncake sounds like a slur. And Robert's like, no, it's a food. And Wendy's like, no, it's My Little Pony. <laughs> but he was a very chill dude. He was. He's also from. He's from Brooklyn. Uh, the guy, I don't, Wait, I don't know his name. Wait, that was the dude that you, introduced, that you introduced me to who said he was from Brooklyn? Yeah. I fucking sat next to him on the plane. He acted like he didn't know me. I was like, hello. I kept looking at him, and he was just looking at the chair in front of him. I'm well, like, maybe, hey. Maybe he felt uncomfortable. Why did you say something to him? Maybe he's scared of flying. You should have said something to him. I rubbed his nipples. Like he, that, just he didn't warm up after that? No, his nipples got really hard. He was like, he was like, he was like, he said he lives. In, I don't know if he wants all this information out there, but you he know, lives in the neighborhood over. He lives two neighborhoods over from me. I know where he lives. Back yeah, so he, he, he's like, he was like, he, he said he lives in this particular neighborhood that has like a certain reputation. Um, Hear that mooncake? And, wait, what and, and, for you. and I was like, and I was like, uh, I was like, I was like, oh shit! Like when he said the neighborhood, and I was like, I was like, I was like, what? You, I was like, what? You grow up with a bunch of wise guys? And he was like, no, it's not like that anymore. So. Um, I didn't get his name. Um, and I think I kind of scared him, but it was right after I almost threw up on Justin and uh, and Joe Bread. I was I was walking back up. That was me, this dude. No, I wasn't you. No, I saw you with your fucking your cart full of Beast Wars. And this dude's talking <laughs> to his buddy, and he's su- the guy who had the Springer in his hand all weekend. He was holding it up next to prototypes, taking pictures. Like that was his point of reference was the Springer. And he was talking to him, and he had a uh, Planet X. Uh, uh, Slarolug, okay. the brontosaurus. Yeah, and he, he pulls out. And he's just nonchalantly. He opens it. He's like, "Man, it's a nice toy." And he like reaches into his coat and he pulls out a sheet of Autobot Lose and he starts putting faction symbols on his third party toy, <laughs> third party convention. And like he just had him with him. He was just like, oh, man. And "It was like Hardcore, man. nonchalant." And I, I watched it and I was like, "Dude, look, I don't know who you are. I got to shake your hand." Like I respect the dude who brings his own rubber labels to a con. <laughs> So he can mark hey. up a third party figure as soon as he opens it. And he's like, Well, I got these here. And I'm like, Well, still. Like, Speaking you know. of respect, you know who we forgot to mention? Uh, we uh, met Bedbugs. Uh-huh. We did meet oh, Bedbugs. Yeah. We, uh, we broke bread and, uh, sh- and spilled blood. And um, beers. Well, he's I, actually he says we in our. Taste or 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 we he's in our, uh, our group video or group photo twice. 
Yeah, I thought I thought I thought I had him pegged. Like when we got there, I thought I had him pegged, and um, and then it turned out being him. And yeah, he was a very cool dude. Him and well, what? Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say what's funny is uh, like at the end of um, like I knew who it was from online. Like you know, I mean everybody you know who they are from online, but you don't always meet them. And uh, which is unfortunate. A lot of times you don't get to talk to people like face to face, you know, whatever. But um, at the end of Chicago, like the, like literally the end, like of Sunday when people were packing up, like I was trying to get back in the uh, artist alley to get our stuff and help you pack up. And I ended up talking to him and some of those other Wisconsin, like uh, like dairy country folks. And uh, so I knew who he was. And then like we talk online, like the bed bus thing, we, we hit it off and, um, you know, we talk a lot and then, but we, like I said, like he didn't remember me because like I, I assumed he, you know, I assumed he knew who I was. So Friday night I'm walking down and like the first thing I do, I'll walk through to the restaurant area and I see Brandy from Chosen Prime and uh, there was somebody else. Oh, um, it was Brian who was with Chosen Prime. Super fucking cool dude too. Oh yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, that was a nice guy. Yeah, he knew. He liked the show too. And then I saw Bedbugs and I knew Bedbugs. <laughs> I've, I've been in on that joke since for a while, and uh, I walk up behind him and I kind of I kind of put my 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 shit on his hip, and I'm standing there. <laughs> I thought he knew who I was. He turns around, and looks at me. He's like, "Do you need to get by or something, or are you <laughs> trying to be in line?" <laughs> and I was like, "I got you," and I walked off. And, I, and then I went on Facebook. I'm like, "You motherfucker!" And he's like, "Oh, like, I'll be right out." Like, you son of a bitch. Do you not know this is great for Mercy? Excuse me. Well, fuck, I know who he is. I you know. know. Everybody should really know who funny. you are. What was really funny, Bobby was like, Bobby walked yeah, over to him. Right. When Bobby introduced himself, he just walked over and he goes, Hey, I'm Bobby. And, like, and he was just like, yeah, I'm bed bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bed bugs. He, right. and, then, and then, and then, uh, like he, he, and then he was hanging, he was hanging out with the whole Sabertron crew, which I thought was like an odd, you know, he's the like glue. A, he, he's the he's the glue. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, that, that's what's... he's a he's a con guy. Like he's a he's a not, I don't want to say a scenester, but like I mean, he's he's been doing this stuff for a while. Like he's you know, he's not like a faction. He's factionless. He's an omnibot. He, he bites them all. Got to bite. Yeah, them no, all. I, 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 I. I I don't, I, yeah, no, I don't doubt any of that. It's just like if you would have given me a multiple choice of who he would have been sitting at the bar with, I probably would have failed. Yeah, no, I hear you. Nope. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's out there. He's a, uh, he's a secret agent. We know who he's uh, loyal to. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's wrap this let's wrap this party up. Why? Um, that's started. Yeah, sing us a song. Bobby. No one mentioned karaoke. No, Oh, Bobby. No, we... Bobby. I, I said you had to sing the introductions, Bobby, and you didn't do it. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> He's scared um, So that, that's that's all that that shit was all on Swage. That's all I gotta give. Like, that's all whatever hate, love, whatever goes to Swage. He contacted me and he was like, "It's karaoke, and you're a bitch if you're not in." And I was like, "Man, it's not really my thing." And he was like, "It was like I'm telling you." You're a bitch if you're not in, and I was like, I will, I will do it on one condition. If they have one, one particular song, and it was just like the song that popped first in my head, um, Eddie, Mur- Eddie Murphy's party all the time. <laughs> so, um, but, and it's mainly it's because in my head for days, man. <laughs> mainly because I love, uh, I love Rick James' bit at the end. Uh, like it's like, okay, so. Rick James wrote that record. He produced that record, and Eddie Murphy sung it. And like, but like Rick James, like couldn't keep his hands off of it, so he had to get in there at the end, and he starts to start singing. She lets her hair down. She likes to party down. And I was like, I just, I love that shit. So I, I said, I'll do it if they had this one particular song. So I was looking through the book, and it's not in there. And I was like, oh, I don't want to have this. Like, I don't want any pressure. So I went up to the guy, and I was like, Look, do you have this? And he was like, I do. And I was like, Okay. And I signed my name. That's the secret. The secret selection. Yeah, yeah. Got <laughs> like, what's the password? Um, All right, gotcha. So, like, I, uh, you know, I, I went on to, I think, you know, it was good, it, 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 <laughs> people knew who I was. Yay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, it was great. It was great. I'm looking forward to the to the next one. If I can yeah, can't oh, wait. Oh, shot town. Hey, yeah, Matt, I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you guys right now, just as a preemptive strike, that's a 
really bad time for me. Um, it's mean? a really bad time. I'm gonna see what I can do. But I, I can't. I can't. I can't make any promises for that one. You will. You better. I know. I well, hear that's you. Let's go. Um, there's just there's there's a, there's, a, there's a number there's a number of contributing factors. Um, but it's it's a bad time. Yeah, not... His obligations. I know what Bobby's talking podcast. about. I know what Bobby's talking about. <laughs> no, you only no, you don't. I, I think I do. I think you may know a me. portion. You might know a portion. You might know. A portion. I, I, I know a potion. I know a black yeah. potion. I know. I, don't I know. Really, we, don't talk we all know Bobby. You told all of us in secret. No. And then so I don't did. tell the other guy. <laughs> no, I did. He's having a me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, sorry. whatever. Lenny will be the skull face. Fine. No, Lenny I'm getting. I'm, I'm, look, I've been putting. Look, I was like, fine. Fuck it. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. But like, I, I have to live. Like, I have to live. I have to live healthy. So like, I'm, I have a procedure lined up for that weekend. Um, I'm finally gonna go through with this penis reduction surgery and and I. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> but no, it's just yeah. I, 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 like I said, I, if, if it's in my means to get there, I will be there. Um, so we got a ton of questions. Thank you for everyone that submitted them. Bedbugs actually submitted a fantastic question. Um, and and we'll get to it, but uh, but not this week. That's so awesome. we asked questions and then we didn't even get to them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but it's good. It's good to have them on standby. It's good. Put them in the stand. bank. Yes. Yeah, sh- uh, so, shard outs, third party unlimited, run by Mega A One, who we had the pleasure of hanging out with this weekend, and Jason Lowry had the pleasure of hanging out with very intimately this weekend. Uh, <laughs> shout out to at Real Robot. I love that dude. Like that that dude has completely won me over one hundred percent. He had me at ninety. He's a completely one hundred percent now. Um, and plasticfreak dot com. And I I know some inside information about something that at Real Robot is doing with another person uh, that we love. Uh, so I can't wait to talk to people about that when that happens. Um, we're having a baby. Fuck it. I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell you now we're having a baby. <laughs> That's why Bobby can't go in Chicago. He's Shout out to uh, at Fear Corpse, who actually who actually thought we might have been taking a shot at him by saying he handles our Twitter. Um, but <laughs> Turns out he has like 10 followers. <laughs> <laughs> but st- it doesn't matter. Like it's still like, yeah, like you know, like he 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 sh- he is our link to the Twitter world. He shows us so much fucking love on Twitter. He he favorites everything that we do. He retweets everything that we do. Like, and he was the very first one to do it. So like, he'll always have a special place in all our hearts. And it was great seeing Ben as usual, even though he looked very rough Saturday morning. I think he went a little too hard in the paint on Friday night. Uh, shout out to third party TF crashes with Yule, who we've spoken about at length tonight great dude shout out oh and 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 i took i stole you oh, i didn't steal i took yule's chain he came down he had a figaro chain on like a big silver figaro chain I like, and i was like is that a figaro chain and he was like yeah and i was like can i have it and he was like you want it and just put it on my head <laughs> um and shout out to roc uh for being awesome and and showing us a, a ton uh, a literal ton of support those are really good guys yeah, including uh, they recorded the uh, the party all the time footage from beginning to end. I think they're the only people that have it from beginning to end, and uh, they sent it to me. So I, I have I have that. Um, and shout out to Tyler who's been doing these little promotional videos in the groups for us. So we also Tyler saw... was there too. No one said yeah. Tyler was there. Tyler, Tyler was there too. It, t- was dude, there. Tyler. So I, I heard three random ass statements at that con, and one was said by Tyler. Um, he was like. Uh, we were outside looking at that uh, Ghostbusters car, and he was like, um, "And he was like, uh, I'm out of here, man." And I was like, "Why?" And he was like, "You got to be careful. There's bees everywhere." <laughs> and like, I started laughing my ass off. He was talking about there was like a there was like a there was like a bees nest in the fucking Ecto One, like it was just like up in the uh, like the stuff that the decorations or whatever that were on the top of it. But like, I couldn't stop laughing at the randomness of it. The other one was, uh, the other big one was we were sitting down. There was like a birthday party going on Saturday night in the cafeteria. And th- there was like a kid was turning one. And it was like a birthday cake. It was like a, a little, po- like a pond. Like the birthday cake was like decorated like a pond. And it had these like four rubber duckies on it. And oh, like, Andrew, I know whose birthday that was. Do you? Yep. Nice. Andrew was sitting at that table with us. And Andrew was like, look at that cake, man. It's badass. Fucking ducks on it and shit. And I fucking <laughs> lost my mind. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, you know, we, but, but we did, uh, whoever, whoever that kid, whoever that kid was, we did, like, uh, the rest of us ended up like applauding for the, 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 you know, the celebration and everything. Like, you know, community, that's what it's about. You scared the shit out of the kid, didn't you? 
No. So, uh, you know. Uh, Plastic Freak. Plasticfreak.com and Dubkey Toys. And I, I am Ratchet. Morgan is an awesome dude. And, and I dropped off another uh, case of uh, business cards to him. So he should be good for a while. Uh, come be a nerd at the cool table and find us on YouTube at youtube.com backslash Shattercast Uncut. Search us on iTunes. Give us that five star rating and then trash us if you, if you feel the need. Just give us the five star rating. We're in it for the stars. It, it really helps us out. Give us a like. Give us a favorite. It really helps us out. Instagram at Shattered underscore cast underscore uncut uh run by deluxe doing a bang up job over there like i've I, we, we've all seen that grow from like tens of 10 followers to like 1500 followers like it seems like overnight uh t- twitter just follow at fear corpse so he'll put you in touch with all of us and then tumblr blogspot and gmail you can find us at shattercast online at gmail.com um and i'm uh, this is my first time hosting since oscar has has, has d- departed shall we say departed um so i'm just gonna keep my 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 old school fuck up man and i'm gonna say please be good to yourselves and uh and respect collectively is it me or is hasbro biting third party shit uh this is this is your buddy brave by the way i what's going on guys i I would love to hear what you guys think about this because I've been suspicious for some time now, but I really, truly believe that third party has made such an impression that Hasbro feels the need to bite off their shit. I mean, think about it. They did a little questionnaire with little sneaky questions about why do you like third party you know, and all that bull crap, right? And then we start seeing them make moves and do things that third party does. Like, why Why the hell would Hasbro, has Hasbro been doing these releases with the silhouettes and shit? Wait, why? What is What is that? They're Hasbro. Why do you have to do that, right? And and then on top of that, they're, uh, they're, they seem to be releasing figures that have been released through the third party pipeline. I think it goes down to that age old saying of you can't beat them, join them. And they can't beat third party. They, they cannot. As a conglomerate, they are the billion-dollar business. They are the they are the money horse, but they can't stop third party. There's there's just too many home CNC machines, too many home 3D machines. There's always going to be a way for someone to put out a third party figure. They can sue the hell the fuck out of TFC, and guess what? You have a TFC with this too, you know. <laughs> so I, I just they they can't stop them, and I think that they've come to the conclusion that they have to compete. Because their their faithful Mountain Dew nerds are getting itchy. I believe they're getting itchy. I mean, in the forums, they complain about third party. They talk that shit. But there's no way in the world you can sit there and tell me that you look at a gravity builder and you think that's a piece of shit compared to Titan class devastator. Hey, no, no fucking way, dog. No way. No, that's the one you can pay for. That's the one you can pay for with ease. So I think that they want to they want to hold on to that as long as they can so now they're giving the mountain dew nerds because they've already raped their they've already ringed out their asses with all those fucking repaints so now they're going to throw them a bone and they're going to give them a few new molds which they'll find a way to repaint but they're going to give them a few new molds and they're all based off of hasbro owned trademarks that have had some popularity in the third party marketplace I I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. I think Hasbro just showed a chink in their armor. Yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm missing Oscar already. You guys had a great show, awesome show, man. But I I, I miss Oscar. But I'm I can't wait to the next show as always. Thanks a lot for the shows, guys. And much much love and good luck to Oscar. Party all the time, Chip. Hey guys, it's Shattercast Small Time Podcast. It's me, Hector Superfly. I just wanted to say that I couldn't help but notice that I saw all you scumbags over at TFCon 2015. I'd say it was an honor to meet all of you, but I never bothered to introduce myself. How's it feel knowing that you're committing criminal acts on American soil? I almost didn't make it if it weren't not for my mother's credit card. I was there when Oscar arrived. I ended up keying his car just for the hell of it. I also attended Bobby Skullface's panel. It was the best nap time ever. I went to attend the third party reveal panel, but I was asked to leave when I refused to sit down. I also saw Deluxe, ugliest Oompa Loompa ever. 
I was there for karaoke night, and I just want to say Skullface sounded an awful lot like my cat when I wrestle with it. I took photos of all the third party reveals and then sent them to Hasbro. Rest assured that the war has been won, and there will never be another TFCon on American soil. Hashtag Hail Hasbro. You can reach me at HectorHater79 at gmail.com. See ya, traders. Party all the time, Chip.